What's going on, guys? We are the Rolling Twenties. You may have forgotten, it's been quite a while since we've been live. I think we got a little crazy streaming, not last week, but the week before on a Wednesday. And that was a, a wild one shot hosted by Shweddy B. Lopez. We all had some fun playing some level one characters and getting through a little short storyline. Um, so you could always go watch the old VOD on that. But also, this campaign has been on hiatus for two weeks because Parzival was busy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but he's back now, and we are going to continue our campaign of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. But first off, we're going to do a couple little intros. We got episodes 11, 12, and 13 uploaded during this break. So you can fully be watching us caught up if you saw that they were uploaded and watched them all. If you missed us that much, maybe you did find us on YouTube um, and got to catch up on our campaign. Fuck that, take a That's shot. That's exciting. Um, also, if you haven't heard, if you missed a couple streams, if you've been, I don't know, under a rock or something, Maybe you didn't hear that we have merch now, which is super exciting. I believe our Chweddy just took a cool promo pick of the hat today. If you can go Who check rated that us? out over on Instagram. Oh, Metaspec. Metaspec, thank you for the raid. Also, Woo! thanks for all the subs. I'm just going to start adding those well, drinks in there because me. We're in um, negative one. <laughs> I'm at 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm at uh, 23 months. Parzival, you're at seven months, you're a monster, and Albino, you're at 23 months as well, sir. You are a day one for sure. Okay, and that... OG that founder. One. We drink on subs, a good amount of bits, <laughs> ones and twenties. <20s>, so, <laughs> and Fuck. raids of more than three people. <laughs> what? So, we got three drinks to do. Oh, right. those subs. Cheers. I, I, that also doesn't look good in a title, so we drink on ones and twenties. We drink on ones and twenties! Yeah, but, you know, it'll be in the fine print somewhere. <sighs> <laughs> There's more ways to make us drink. You can also make us drink by our channel points. And you can get God points damn it. by watching our stream. Lots. Just leave it open. Love we it. drink on ones and twenties and subs! Woo, uh, Woo. Metaspec just, uh, Woo. added his subscription as well. Oh Cheers. my gosh! Cheers. Thank you. Oh, you mind girlfriend? Hey. Hey. I appreciate it. Not only that, okay. but we also hit a level two hype train. Oh, Woo. everyone! Hype, hype, hype. Everyone, everyone, Got shaking emotes in the chat right now. Get hyped. Um, you know, we are entirely crowdfunded at this point. Everything <laughs> is brought to you by you guys. You are the ones that make this happen. <laughs> We couldn't be doing this here. Well, I mean, we probably would, but we wouldn't be, you know, maybe you're buying us drinks. You never know. Maybe you're drinking us drink more, secretly. But or maybe you play with us, or maybe you come to fucking, to community nights? No, oh, I come for fucking. And oh, Bino just gave us another two drinks, same with uh, Larry. <laughs> and Metaspec just drink. gave us another, dude, this is why we got up to 42 last time, let's, guys. Let's do a little cheers to the chat. How about that, guys? Cheers, Cheers to, the to the chat. chat. Cheers to the chat. Thank you. And the chat, which is really mostly just us. So cheers to us. Cheers. I mean, we're getting we're getting closer and closer to 200 followers. We've been averaging, I think, close to 10. Where it's going up. Our numbers are going up, which means it can't just be us. Yes. It's and we also we have beautiful people following us who just followed us 10 minutes ago. Lily Zena. Lily Zena, if you're still out there. We appreciate you. We were just drinking and smoking before we started, and I couldn't thank you directly, but I didn't forget about you. And now, now we drink in your name. <laughs> That's true. We should. God damn it! This is why we start so high. <laughs> in your name, we pray. I literally already have to go get another drink. All right. So I have a, a couple other announcements. If you gotta go get a drink, I'll keep that rolling. Um, our Discord has been very fun lately. We got the monster master community game going on i am currently the monster master so go figure out what monster i picked i give you a clue every day and you get to pick a monster it's kind of fun um i also think um pretty soon i'll make an official post at some point but i want to run a art 
D and D art contest of some sort, and the winner will get like a sticker or two from the Rolling Twenties. Hell yeah! Um, I'll, I'll make a post on that, but yeah, get your creativity going. Um, I gotta discuss with you? Brandon what the criteria should be and who's gonna judge it, but. Yeah, I think that would be a fun little game to add into our Discord. Type exclamation point Discord if you're not in there. Or if you're on YouTube, click the link below. Um, yeah, we also have been running a community night on Friday. Fridays. Last week we watched the D&D movie. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you can join us for fun times like that. Sometimes we play games, sometimes we just listen to music and hang out. Sometimes we watch movies, and sometimes we're watching fights or basketball games. You know, just come hang out, get to know us. It'll make joining in on a D&D session that much easier if you get to hang out with us on a fun community night. So, yeah, get in there. And our Discord is a level 3 server, so you get high quality like sound from your friends mic to mic you can you can crank that audio bit right we should probably like we should probably like label like one of the channels and like have it cranked all the way up that way because i know other people can't adjust that but currently i think you know we have a couple channels that are turned up a little higher on the audio quality but we could label that and maybe make it a little easier for you guys to tell which ones you're going to get that crisp sound are we not cranking that to Soldier Boy right now? You. you. Can you do the dance? If you do you. the dance. Ooh, Soldier Boy real. up in there. I don't know how to do the fucking dance, dude. <laughs> you, fucking, you, you have to like use your feet in shades. Like, watch me dance and watch me roll. Watch me dance as Soldier Boy and Superman. I mean, now, watch me. Back, back in like, I don't know, middle school I mean, when the roller rink, everyone was doing that shit. <laughs> the roller rink. Yeah. Did, did you, is that not where you guys did Soldier Boy? No, we're a little older, so we did it like at fucking like prom and shit. Alley. Yeah, no, it, well, huh. <laughs> we did it like prom with fucking David Guetta with memories too. It was like Soldier Boy and and it was all the man and I'm in tonight. That shit. That was classic. Yeah. Okay, and anyways, I think that concludes our announcements so now we're gonna get into introductions um i am epic i am the dm running this fabulous campaign and i am drinking cold brew coffee hard cider from locust it's pretty good now let's start it off with parzival oh okay you are starting with me okay um you gotta well, change things up all right <clears throat> ladies first yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> Well, uh, hello everyone. My name is Parzival. I'm playing Lyrell. Uh, it's a level 5 ranger, Wood Elf. Uh, I'm drinking my last couple screwdrivers. Uh, I've already drinking most of one and I haven't even gotten any intros yet. So, you know how that is. Um, and keeping with the theme of Ladies First, I will send it to you, Apollo. <laughs> oh. Wait! I wasn't, I was like half paying attention and realized you said me. What the fuck did I do? I wasn't even the one who said it. What the fuck? Yo, I'm being targeted right now. This is bullshit. And I'm going to go to Rolling 20s HR because I did nothing. All right. Epic. Werewolf paint. Epic. I'm being targeted. All right. Um, my name is Shreddy B. Lopez and I am being targeted because I am Apollo the Bard. And while I am... I guess I have to now defend him and say that he's a him, I guess? Um, but I'd be fucking A-list so everyone knows it, hey? Alright, and um... <laughs> thanks to fucking... <laughs> this whole this whole fucking sound bitch shit's gonna ruin my life. Um, and... I'll have a song for you today, I think. If I don't die. Ooh. So, yeah, I'm gonna pass it off to someone super fucking manly, so manly, we're not even sure if his name's really his name. Gary? That's right. Gary is, is an icon, he's not a person. Um, I'm Obano and I'm playing Gary, and uh, Gary is um, a drunken master monk. And, um, 
the drunken master monk you see um the trick is is they're they're like feigning drunkenness they're 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 drunk and they seem to be out of control so you can take advantage of them but really they're in control the whole time gary on the other hand is really playing the role of a drunk well he has been drinking out of a magic mug and he's an alcoholic with hmm. a brain injury and I'm personally drinking more to shoot fresh squeezed. I'm just unoriginal. I my local uh, my local liquor store doesn't have any good beers anymore, so it's, hey, that's, it's that's a great beer. <laughs> it is, but they like there's no like there's no selection. So like this is the only like you want an IPA, this is like it. Or some hazy garbage I don't like. Damn. Hey, mommy. Um, and um, and yeah, the only person left is uh, is uh, Lou Man. Wait, 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 wait. Man, microphone didn't even pick it up. I didn't know how long <laughs> I could get his mic to clip. But. Yeah, wow, that's impressive there. But that, that's really good. Woo! Let's let's give a let's give a nice round of applause to. Uh, Wow. Oh, thank you, everyone. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, my, uh, my name's Wu Man. Um, I play Gobru the Second. Wow. Uh, and I am a barbarian, and I'm a level five, and I love to cook, and I like to kill people with my cooking, uh, apparently. And then apparently I picked up a crossbow, and uh, I shot it a couple times, but it, it wasn't the best shots, I, as I remember. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, I'm just I'm just hanging out with these guys I just met, and uh, I'm oh, trying to can't redeem that. <laughs> what? I, I, don't point redemption. I, I I I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. It was it was a ghost that just happened to be upset for Lyrell targeting Apollo. I don't know what happened. The ghost also can't spell and mistyped. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Lyrell has to die. Uh, you gotta actually earn those points. <laughs> I know. He's our leader. I don't know what you're talking about. I heard Lyrell died. Sorry, uh, you guys very rudely interrupted <laughs> Gaburu. It was it was urgent. It it, urgent no, matter. you guys very rudely interrupted Gaburu. I'm just saying, Gaburu, please finish while Lyrell dies. You very rudely tried to... <laughs> 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 no, 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 hey, no. um, just, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. It was the rolling 20s. That's, uh, apparently God that just wanted, you know, Lyrell to die. It's not my... Gaburu, finish! What are we doing? Uh, okay, uh, yeah, so, um... Uh, I make rats uh, into like a stew. It's really good. It's called uh, Gaburu, uh, right, Radaruru. And uh, uh, yeah, I got salt and pepper in my bag and I'm ready to hit the dungeon because I need to get something back that was stolen from me, but I forgot about it. So anyways, that is our party. They are known as Bagel to the realm so far. Um, word is spreading as they have done many feats in defending Baldur's Gate from a zombie attack and from the rats in the cellars and now they're taking on the Thieves Guild. Um, but first, we are the Rolling Twenties and we're going to take a drink for starting our session, which is actually drink number nine, but, you know, it's tradition, so you can't, you can't hold out. Oh, Cheers, everyone. Did we all say what we were drinking? What? Oh, what? Yeah. Um, oh yeah, Gabri, what are you drinking? I'm drinking uh, Cantaritos by Jaritos uh, Hard Soda. Oh, how uh, is got, that? It's it's really sweet, and I don't like it. Oh. So I can only drink <laughs> one, uh, and that's about it. Uh, but I'm switching over uh, to White Claw, and it's like a new thing, Minjigi, so I'm kind of excited to try it, but this was my last one, so I wanted to kill it. I'm very sad. Be on the claw. I, I was very much hoping the the Lopez in me was very much hoping when you when I was like oh the Jaritos how is it and you were like eh I was like fuck I'll be on life fool okay yeah I'm I'm going back to Corona well, this is bullshit <laughs> I'm going right back to the Corona seltzers are excellent but yeah anyways um <laughs> this is episode fourteen <laughs> yep. by the way. Um, just throwing that out there, as mainly as a reminder to myself, because I always forget. But um, we left episode 13 on a bit of a cliffhanger 
after the party, or after Light Rail specifically, it was attacked by a mimic and then saved by the rest of the party. Um, they all were in this little room, and upon leaving the room, they found themselves facing a very strange plant-like creature. And that's where we ended two weeks ago. Let me pull up the map real quick and share it with you all. And can we get some battle music going on here? Yes. So we can really set the tone. It's been a while, I forgot how to use Fantasy Grounds for a second. It's been go. a while! <laughs> it's been a while! I freaking kill Critical Role. It's been a while! So, uh, I believe it was Gabru that was the first to Fuck that, take a shot. Scenes. And he, right on the other end of the hallway, as he's there. Fuck that, take tracking, a shot. There were these three floating plant like creatures with large <laughs> eyeballs just hovering in the hallway, blocking the path. Feed me, Seymour! And I believe uh, everyone needs to roll initiative still. Uh, yeah, I think so. It's been long enough, we might as well do it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, here we go, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> son of a... Oh, dude, that was almost a second one. Fuck. Alright, initiative. Um... Hey! We drink oh, on oh, one's edge 20! Uh, I have danger sense, so does that give me... Yeah, that gives me advantage? No, it doesn't. Oh man, this is how you start a fucking Ooh. campaign. See, Light Rail, fuck you. You got the one. This is what happens when you target people. This is fucking. This is ex this is karma, bitch. Dex saves, Mister. Yes, you're right. You're right. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I think we all know who's going first and who's going last after those rolls. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Take it away, Apollo. The leader always goes first. Ah, that's fucking right. The leader always goes first, ladies and gentlemen. And I got, I got toss a coin to the Witcher once. I'm having to, you know, toss a coin to your sweaty. Okay, so uh, there's three eyeballs that we're looking at. Are they? Because I see Gabaru standing on something dark. Is that a set of stairs? Um, no. You guys are in a hallway. Oh, okay, so they're just far down with Gabaru kind of... Okay. How quickly do they look like they're moving? Or They are floating. Okay. <laughs> In place. <laughs> they're floating. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do you want to observe them more, or are you just going to... I mean, have they not done anything to us yet? You know they weren't there when you first went in the hallway, and now they are there. Oh, shit. I fucking remember. Alright. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I mean, I guess my first move is gonna signify a lot. Fuck. Hmm, alright, I, you know what? I'm not gonna use a spell yet. I wanna see how these things are affected. They just appeared behind us. We rolled initiative. I'm not gonna waste my nat 20. I'm sorry. I'm fucking shooting my bow. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up here though. And I'm gonna target this one over here. And I'm gonna take out my longbow and just pew pew. Do I hit? Okay, hold on. That is number. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> so your arrow flies through the air, hits it right in the eyeball, and then all the plant just diffuses, leaving behind a big cloud of. You don't quite know what it is, but it's like a greenish cloud, and it's just drifting into the air. Um, 
roll a dexterity saving throw. All of you. Oh, you <laughs> stuck. Oh, wait. Oh, so I can roll with advantage. Yeah, you can use your danger sense. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, I'm a plus seven dexterity, so I'm good. Oh, yes, I'm good. Let's go. I was like, okay, I'm safe. I almost rolled the lowest. I had an 18. Fuck you guys. So, upon that. Um, the gas is kind of like rising pretty high and you guys all drop to the floor as it fills the room um, not trusting it it floats right above you but the that creature that was struck by the arrow is no more okay Huh. Um, I guess at that point, that is the end of my. I mean, I didn't even look to see if anyone needs help. Um. Uh, all right, we're okay for right now. I guess I'm going to end my turn here. Ugh. God, there's so many of them. <laughs> Okay, and after you, you know, after your, you let your arrow fly, now it's Gaburu, the first one that saw these creatures that is next to react. Um, since it, like, kind of farted, like, is there, like, a sense of, like, like what, what the, the cloud might be? The, are you going to try and, um... How are you going to figure that out? Well, I have a strong nose. I want to see what would be like the best like escape route right now if we had to leave. I'm, I'm, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, I'm, I'm like ducking down and like looking around like which way is the best way because this is like way too weird for me. Okay, make a uh, perception check. Okay. Yeah, um, you feel like that since the one on the far left was killed, um, there's a bunch floating to the hallway in the north, and you don't even know which way that was quite going, and you don't know how many of these things there may be. So I think what speaks to you would be the rat that you came. Okay. Uh, so uh, I want a bonus action. Uh, stay. I mean, I'm gonna stay low still, but bonus action to say, let's retreat. That was way too easy. That Apollo killing that, and then I'm gonna make my way back this way. Uh, well, you know, I, I meant, by the way you came, I meant, like, to the south, like, past the creatures. And oh, this down. thing right here. Okay, okay. Yeah, because yeah, you so... you guys were all stuck in this room, the, the mimic, and that's just a square room. Got it. So I'm going to use my movement to go 30 feet. Uh, or 40 feet, sorry. Because. Uh, okay, you can get up right up next to the thing. Right here. Um mm -hmm. And then I so did I use an action or or looking like for the escape route? I'm gonna say yes. Okay. Because it, it, if anything, I would have just used it to da uh, you know double dash, but that's about it. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. Gary, your friend just sprinted down the hallway, and there's a gas lingering above you guys. Uh, did my friend get hurt from the gas? You guys all avoided it. Alright. None of you uh, actually were touched by it. So you don't know what it even does. Um, so I saw, um, Apollo looking around or to see if he needed to heal anyone or help anyone. And I, I look over and I say, I'm trying to sound like I'm wise, like I'm a, but I'm drunk. 
because I rolled a crit fail before this. And I'm like, if I fall, pick me up. But if you help me along the way, how will I learn to keep my balance? No, no. But then I just, <laughs> I'm just gonna run up here. And, uh. What? I'm gonna <laughs> whack this guy. <laughs> what? What? What's going on? Too natural? Did that come out too naturally, stupid? No! That's perfect! <laughs> I'm gonna come up to this guy, I'm gonna whack him with my quarterstaff. Albert, did you just move? <laughs> oh, on accident. Uh, I wouldn't write my mute. I, uh, yeah, anyways. Gotcha. Okay, uh, roll the hit. I'm attacking an unidentified creature, 10. Um, did not do it? Uh, I didn't see a roll. No. Huh. Okay, I'll just, uh... Does it yeah. show me as, uh, targeting him now? Yeah. Alright, I'll just target him that way then. Alright, here we go. Yeah, you hit, and... What are you, uh, striking it with here? Uh, so, like, as I'm walking in there, I'm like, doing all kinds of crazy shit with my quarter staff that I probably learned as, like, a child to do. And then I'm just, so he doesn't know where it's coming from, but I'm literally just gonna like, whack him with it, like that. Like, bring it across. Okay, um, you hit the creature and it explodes, very similar to when the arrow struck the other one. Gaburu and Gary make a constitution saving throw. Are you serial right now? How did it change up all of a sudden? Oh, I'm too close okay. to it. Do oh. I have a disadvantage? Is this related to my alcoholism? No. Okay. <laughs> cool. Gary. 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 Uh oh. Hold on a second. I mean, dicey rolling. It's like a floating bomb, bro. Oh, Gary! What'd you do? 16 so, yeah, damage? Um, yeah, so the, uh, the gas fills your lungs, and you just feel it burning you on the inside. Alright, um... Alright, as, as I cough, I'm going to... Um, you, you are also now diseased. Diseased? Oh, shit. Alright. Well, I'm gonna, as I'm coughing, or like gagging for breath, I'm gonna step here, I'm gonna headbutt unidentified creature one. What's your con score, by the way? Uh. 14. What are you doing to me? You bastard, don't hurt me. Alright, I'm gonna attack uh, Identified Creature 1 with a headbutt. Oh, I don't know why that rolled 2. You miss it. Damn. Uh, oh, wait. Or were you targeting yourself? Yeah, you fucking were. Never mind, you hit it. <laughs> you missed yourself. <laughs> Alright, well, that's good. Alright, um... I'm trying to fix your targeting. I don't know why am I, I, why right, am I targeting somebody. Oh shit, you killed yourself. Oh wait, no you didn't. <laughs> You're good. Um, okay. Is creature 10 dead? Uh, yeah. <laughs> One second. And this one also explodes. Gaburu and Gary roll a constitution saving throw. Oh no.
scary. Uh, I'm on a con save, you say? Yeah. <laughs> Watch, it's gonna be minus two right now. Alright, come on now. Oh no. You got, uh, and Gobber, what's your con score? 16. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch! What you doing to me? Okay, yeah, the, you feel this gas fill your lungs. Your throat starts to ache, and you take this poison damage. Oh boy. But this gas spore is gone. That's like 10 damage? Or 11 damage? Yeah, it, it rolled onto you. Did? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it did. Um, is that all you can do? I don't think the last one did though. It should have been at 30 before. So I no. should be dead. No, you were. It was right. No, it did. I, it. Yeah, I, I did started the fight time. with 14 points before we, when we first jumped on, and I took 16 points, which should have put me at uh, 30 damage, and then I should have taken an additional 11. Oh, did it not add one of them? Well, it didn't, two... it didn't, yeah, it added this one. It didn't add the last one. Well, to be so fair, add another 16 to that. Yeah, he should. Yeah, because he doesn't even have 26 total. I'm a little confused. Well, he has 37 total. Yeah, yeah you're, you're unconscious. I don't think it added one of them. It looked like it did in the chat. Let's see. But. Yeah, you fall prone. That's what I and do. So then, so then the second one didn't count? No, you know what? You're right. The first one never hit. I see its identified creature did the death burst, but it wasn't targeting him. Okay. Well, the no, the, he would have survived the hit from the first one. So yeah, it would have survived the first one. Right, 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 but, right, right. Yeah. yeah. But, but upon this down. one poisoning him knocks him down. Yes. Um, which brings us to Lyril's turn. All right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, let's remember how to do all this. Okay. So I will move 35 feet. Do I have an angle on that one? Like, there? Yeah. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take a shot at it. Oh, fuck. Gary might die instantly. <laughs> I think it's out of its kind of Gary. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gary. <laughs> I, I, can, I can bring you back. You'll be okay. But <laughs> barely. Alright, let's take a shot. Let's see how this goes. Oh, my God. God. That was almost a 20. I don't yeah, like these hit. dice. Oh, I don't like God. those dice. Um, you hit and it explodes. Oh, cool. Okay. And the gas comes right up to right up to here oh. and then starts to fade away. Okay. I don't have an angle on the other one, do I? You can't even... Well, I guess you can see two more of them, but no, you do not have the angle. Okay, uh, I will end my turn there. Okay. Um... You see these things start to hover. Why can this one not move? That looks weird. One of these is stuck, and I don't know why. I'm gonna just kill it because I don't want to really deal with it. No, it'll explode. <laughs> don't do that. Why can this one not move? Which one is it? You probably have to remove the uh... barrier. Yeah, remove the barrier, and then like. We can all close the map if you want or something. Like, I'll close the map so no one else can see it at least. I won't look at it. I'm just, just gonna delete it off the map and put it back on. Oh, okay. Well, 
What's the name of this map? I'm gonna go open it up. Died. All right, it's fine. What's it called? Died. Um, Guild O One. Right. Okay. Um, Lyrail, you specifically see them hover a little closer. Gobbery, you can see this as well. Um, Apollo, if that brings us back to your turn. <laughs> These motherfuckers, all right. So I'm guessing at this point, this is where I can be, right? That was kind of like halfway yeah, what's into your, this What's your movement? I believe it's 30, and I was halfway into that little arrow. Yeah, that looks fine. Um, what is my movement? Yeah, it's 30. Okay. Now here, I can just see like a cunt hair of the guy. Yeah, you can see the one. I can that see moves this guy right over. Yeah. Okay. So I am gonna start off with a bonus action of healing word. I'm gonna look over at my buddy on the ground, and I'm gonna be like, "This isn't your time yet." And I'm going to target him, and I'm gonna cast healing word. Only at first level. Um, I apologize. It was very low amount, but you're back up, sir. Um, you are no longer unconscious, but you are still prone. Now I'm targeting this guy. And I'm going to take my bow. And here we go. Here we go! You hit it. All right. <laughs> I probably should have used my bonus action after to pick him back up so he would not have to... Oh, well. Oh. Yeah, Gary, roll a I did not save. think that fucking through, dude. I'm so sorry. God damn it. I'll pick you oh, back up again next no. time. Or just roll a really high con save right now. That's what I need. I'll tell you so what, I, I was rolling con saves to see how much drinking I was doing. Like, I was rolling, like, amazing, and now I'm rolling crap right now. No, you're, you're about to roll great. Yeah. Oh, Gary. <laughs> Yeah, I'll pick yeah, you back yeah. up, buddy. Yeah. God sorry. damn it. You're good. No, I'm, that's my... I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, hey, are you removing him from the combat tracker? I can't tell. God oh. damn it. Yeah, Gary, you are not prone. <laughs> and unconscious. I mean, you are already prone, but... You're knocked back out. You, you like, catch a breath <laughs> as Apollo <laughs> heals you, and then that breath gets completely filled back in with more gas. Next turn, I'm gonna do that backwards. That's the end of my turn. But I'm okay. Gobbery. Um, seeing how like relentless this 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 barrage of shit has been. Um, is 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 like the roof getting really filled up? The room? Is, um, is it... It, it's kind of dissipating after a while. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, since we're in this barrage, I'm just gonna go straight up and, uh, take out my, uh, my crossbow. Um, and, um, f f for whatever reason, I'm gonna rage. And I'm gonna rage into the bear. And Mama Bear's gonna be holding the crossbow and just letting loose. And I know rage... Well, actually, I'm not gonna do it. Fuck that shit. I'm just gonna hit him with the fucking, uh... Uh, crossbow bolt. Sorry. Oh wait, no way. I'm gonna rage because I got I inhaled poison, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to do that. I'm going to rage. And um, done. And now I'm going to attack, holding the crossbow bolt, uh, and let loose. Yeah, you hit, and it explodes. My gas goes kind of right in front of Gary's range and dissipates, not hitting any of you. And uh, uh, and then uh, I'm going to uh, shift over to the left and uh, uh, maybe maybe go prone and, and go into like sniper mode. <laughs> and that's the end of my turn. Okay. 
Gary, death save. Okay. I've been rolling so well, though. I thought it was going to be a nat one. I saw that one, too. Her success. Hey. Fly rail. You currently can't see any more of them, but you see your friend on the ground, and you see Gobru laying like a sniper. There. <laughs> Drink, because you're muted. Yep, yeah, I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah. I knew I wasn't right. muted, I knew you weren't even talking to me, but I still got triggered. I was still just like, what? Uh. <laughs> and you're like, not even talking to you. Not even talking to you, dude. You're just used to it always being you. <laughs> um, do I see the gas that Gary is still kind of in? Um, no, it's dissipated. Okay, um... Okay. Yeah, I will... Go up to him, uh, cast Cure Wounds on him. Don't try to remember I did that. There we go. <laughs> you are no so longer unconscious. Nice. What's up with the healing squad today, huh? Yeah. Come on, boy. Um, <laughs> and girls? And then, do I have a shot at that guy? Um, yes. Okay, I'm taking a shot at him. Is Cure Wounds an action? Yeah, but I have a second attack. That's not yeah, how that that's works. only if you attack. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, you can't do like if yeah, your your action has to be to attack to get a second attack. Okay, never mind. Uh, I guess I'll end my turn. Okay. You see them starting to float closer to you. I feel like it's like this is like a hallway, and we're just like it's like when the Matrix is getting uh, when the, the the machines are coming into the Matrix place, whatever it's called. I forgot, and uh, everyone's just shooting at it. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, Apollo, it's your turn. All right, you're holding a torch, right, um, Gabaru? Um. No, now no, it would be okay. on the floor. Alright, alright. It would be on the floor now. So, uh, the reason I have the torch is because of my mace, but I'm not holding right. my mace. I was thinking to light up my arrow to light the plant on fire, but... Oh, got it. That's a different, that's a different plant. Here's what yeah. I'm gonna do. How, how, about, how about, can all of you make a, uh... Oh. A nature check? Oh. Ooh. Damn! Is my so you guys have all been seeing this gas. You've seen these things explode upon you attacking them. You know that they're kind of plant-like. And... Wait, should I have taken the check? No, I'm unconscious, right? No, you're not. Done it. You're not unconscious. I'm alive you're... again? Yeah, Lyrell Kier wounds you. Yeah, Lyrell, I'm sorry. I didn't even hear it. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. That was... Oh... Sorry, so, um, know. yeah, you can tell that these creatures are gas spores. Oh, um, it's Devil's Snare! Sorry, that was a Harry Potter joke. I'm so sorry. That was... Um, just me! You know, they look a lot like beholders, in a way. Like, they're single eye. They don't have all the tentacles with eyes on them. But they're like a plant-like clone of them, in a way from what your knowledge is. They have an eerie resemblance to a beholder. Ooh. We're lucky Gabaru pays attention in herbology. All right, so I'm gonna move <laughs> over here. I had, to, I had to try to get one. Um, that is not me. I'm gonna move over here. How many of them do I see? Just one? Um, you should be able to see all the ones that you could see. So yes. Okay, that is a good answer. So since he's already up, and I don't have to heal him, is it fair to use a bonus action to just 
leave my arrow over the fire for a second. You're going to try and use the fire of Gabru's torch? Yeah, the one that's on the ground. I just want to take out an arrow as I'm pulling it out of the quiver. Use my bonus action, just hold it there, and then use my action to go boop. That's in my head. You can totally not allow it. I don't know if that's long enough. I don't know how long it would take to light the front, but... I'll allow it if you roll a sleight of hand over 15 while you're shooting your shot and you hit. All right, <laughs> sleight of hand, here we go. I not 20, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We, we fucking pull drink on ones on 20. That was, I hit the wrong one. All right, drink it for that. All right, how much do I gain any damage from? Really, here's what I'm trying to do, just so you understand. I'm not even really looking for damage. It's a plant, right? Yeah. I don't know what type of gas it is. Maybe it's a gas that explodes. That's fine. What I want to do is either light it on fire or have it explode so that way it damages the plants in the back. If that can't happen, that's fine, but that's my intention with this. Um, whatever comes with that, that's what I'm going for. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot my shot now, and boom. Shoot a shot. Damn. It's coming in hot. 11. Okay, um, so you guys, the arrow, strikes into the first one and as it explodes in this cloud of gas oh God. the gas ignites and it starts to travel down the hallway and you guys just see this flash of fire like raging through the hallway I'm gonna die again, it, it goes it goes beyond the distance that you guys can see um give me a second as i clear these creatures <laughs> how many now I want to look at everybody like, I think we should run. <laughs> uh. Oh, shit. I imagine, I imagine like when you take like your arrow, I feel like you scrape into the the torch and like kind of yank like a, a big piece of it off or like a little cloth of it. And you go, Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the whole, all the air smells of almost like sulfur and burning and smoke. And you can't see any at this point. Um, it was just a big flash of fire. Um, we can leave combat for now. What? Let's go. Ready with the mat on it. Let's get it. It's. Is everybody okay? Uh, I'm going to do and Gary again. Everyone's uh, good? Gary, you okay? Well, he should be at more health than he was as well. I don't think the last health went on to him. And what was the total of the last time you healed him? Uh, let me find out. Gary, you, you 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 want a little you want a little magic touch? I can probably give you a. I owe you one more healing spell. Oh oh no, uh, oh, three. thank you. Three. Yeah. Um. He's at um. Twenty-nine wounds. Okay. Gary, are you? Man. Are, are you sure? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Like I'm up. I'm up. I'm just gonna reach into my bag and uh, and just like punch the top of this bottle off and just start pouring into my mug and drinking. Oh, unprone him too. Um. Wait, how are you prone? Uh, Gary is prone. I said. Oh yeah, Gary's him. prone. And Gabriel is prone. Yeah, but I'm getting <laughs> up. Hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. You guys are gonna stand up. Yeah. Um. And uh, um, I'm gonna go pick up uh the torch and kind of like smother it. And uh, being you know a soldier, uh, I I remember that eating charcoal would help if you ingested something really bad. So uh, I will take a bite out of uh the torch. Uh, when it's extinguished and uh, cooled down. 
Ruru, we needed that fire. Uh, make a survival check. Yeah. Actually, a medicine check. Yeah. Oh no. Medicine is yeah. It's it's a roll. Sixteen. Yeah. Um. You still feel a little sick to your stomach, but you know it relieved a little of the acid taste from your stomach, but you feel like there is something inherently wrong with you. Uh, um, I take uh, Ga water. Gary, you also feel sick as well. I'm trying to cure it with alcohol. Do I need to roll a con save for my alcohol cure? No, I'm going to roll a medicine check. Let's see if alcohol cures my... I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll 20 and just find out that medically I'm killing myself. Yeah, you you know that it's just doling the pain, but there is something wrong with you as well. All right, well, I would like to dull the pain, at least. I'm going to chug out my mug. Do a mug chug. That's clever. So the orc is eating charcoal. The monk is drinking beer. <laughs> um, can we get some more music going on here? There's the... Yeah. The hallway, is, the smoke is starting to dissipate in the hallway, and you can see that, <laughs> as far as you can see down that hallway, remains clear. There is also the, Fuck that, take the a path shot. going north with two other, three other unexplored rooms. Um, and then there's the area where all these plant things were coming from. Hmm. Are, are you guys feeling okay? <sighs> Not the best, but next time... I see those mother truckers. I'm raging. I don't care. Mm. Here, um, just in case, I, I need you guys on tip top form. I can't help you this much, but just know that you guys are my friends, and I, I need you guys around. And I want to use two of my three uh, bardic inspirations on the disease people. So I want to inspire both of them separately, but like both with kind of the same speech. And then knock off two of my three. How do you inspire them? So I want to look at Ruru and be like, Ruru, Ruru, I can tell you're not okay, but we're almost out of here. I just need you. I need you focused, okay? Use okay. this. And I just want to put my hand on him and like do a little glowy stuff and like, next time you really need something to happen, just use this. And I kind of want to do the same thing over to Gary, but I want to be like, I want to kind of like not slap him, obviously. Like this would completely be like non-lethal, nothing to hurt him. It's more so just like, Gary, you kind of fucked up back there, buddy. Okay. I need you to stay back. I need you to think right now range. And I need you to use this in any situation that's really important. Just like Ruru. I want to give him, like, a little glowing thing, too. Well, you guys need a different motivation, but it's the same outcome. So you guys' motivations are different. So, I, yeah, I give him a little glowy stuff, too. And then we go from there. I'm like, Lyrell, you're doing great. Keep doing great. I'll give you some glowy stuff if you need it later. <laughs> so you guys are inspired. <laughs> and remember, you can add that to your AC, and then you can also add it to your damage now. D8, motherfucker. Uh, I am going to cautiously continue down the hallway. Uh, I'm going to keep my crossbow high. <laughs> and uh, follow the Lyrell. <clears throat> and I'll follow the Lyrell closely. <laughs> like, I'll be like right over her shoulder and I'll be like, oh, please protect me. <laughs> I'll, I'll like drag Gary along. Okay, so, uh, Lyrael, where are you leading the party? I'm going to head to the right because that's where the things came from, and I don't want to get caught off later down the line. With yeah. So you're as you're walking over these things, you're almost walking over the husks of these dead plant creatures. It's just kind of like a split open thing on the ground, almost like it was like a pod that you had just exploded and all the sides of it are laying on the ground. They're a little squishy as you trample over them, but they seem relatively harmless at this point. 
Um, as you're going around the corner, you do see a few more of them floating at the end of the hallway. Alright, um... Can I take a shot at one of them? If I have yeah. Okay, yeah. Let me do that. Uh, I'm also going to point it out, just kind of with cover right behind me, just kind of point oh. out, it's like, hey, yep. there's more of them up there. Yep, come, uh, uh, scoot on back and, uh, and shoot, and I'll, I'll shoot too. Which one are you going to hit? The left one or the right one? I'm going for the left. I'll go for the right. And I will take a shot. And I will take a shot as well. So both these arrows go psh, psh. They both simultaneously strike into the spores and they both explode as you are rather familiar with. Oh, a nice one, Lyra. And currently you guys see one more. Oh, okay. Uh, do I have an angle on it? Look at, looking at the map, I don't really do. Um. Yeah, you can just barely see it. It would take a very precise shot from this angle, unless you. But as you get farther up the, the diagonal, then the uh, you know it becomes more of a feasible shot. Right. Uh, I'll act. I'll actually look at uh, Apollo. Uh, hey, you want one too? Um. Yeah, well, I had my moment of glory. Um, I really think that we need. We need to give Gary a shot at getting a lick back, or maybe Ruru. Uh, Ruru, why don't you take this one? Uh, I hit the I hit the other one. Uh, it, like it's cool. I it's really satisfying. I don't I don't mind. I got like I got like what I got like I got like sixteen more. Yeah, I got sixteen more shots. Fine. Here we go. Yeah. So um, <laughs> where you guys just observed, the green line is about the distance that the gas went on the previous two. Um, but you know that right up at that line is about where you're going to have the shot to hit this one. Um, so right. you know you're going to have to shoot and then avoid the gas. I'm fine with that. I'll go ahead and have a high enough dexterity that I will take the risk. Plus, homies don't leave homies diseased. Careful, it's very toxic. Okay, you hit, and then make a dexterity save. Yes. Yeah, the gas starts to spew out of the thing, and you jump backwards, avoiding it. Kind of like Neo, just going... I have my moments, guys. No. <laughs> I have my moments, guys. It's not always... Okay. Confidence is key. <laughs> From where you guys are at, you can't see anything else, but there is a big bend in the hallway. Uh, I'll start cautiously going down it. Are you hugging the inner wall or the outer wall? The outer wall. Okay, so right where you get to, right where you're at right now, you do see one more. All right. Um, you know you're not in a safe range currently. Oh, shit, I just closed the map. Yeah! <laughs> it's guilty. Sorry. 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 Just Sorry. Anyway. Gary, yeah, right. we left. You guys are all still good? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, um, so right there. I... Yeah. This, this you is know where it's... I would need to have the angle, though, right? Yeah. Right where you're at, but you know from observing all of these ones explode that you would be in the range of the poison. All right. Uh, well, first off, I will let everyone know, like, don't go past where I am right now. Uh, and I'll, I'll actually, it's like, uh, hey guys, uh, back, back up, back up. There's, there's one more over here. Oh, uh, okay. You, you, you okay? I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. Uh, and, yeah, I'll, I'll just say screw it. You're gonna shoot it? I mean, what else is there to do? I, I can't go back at all to get an angle on it, so... Okay. Actually, wait. 
they, they haven't... I'll, I'll look back at the group. They, they haven't, like, done anything to us <coughs> close up, have they? All that you have currently observed is them floating a little closer to you guys. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run across where he is. I'll, I'll use the... I'll use, like, a dash action. I, I know we're not in combat, but... Okay, where, where are you going? Uh, I'm gonna stick to the outside, so, like, there, and then... Okay. There-ish. Yeah, you can... So I'll kind of do that. Okay. And as you do that, it does move 10 feet closer. Alright. But, uh, down below you, you see a door, and it's closed to the south. And... That's at the end of the hallway. So you guys see Lyril sprint ahead. Um, Gobru, you can now see the plant creature kind of going after Lyril slowly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I guess since Lyril kind of like ran past it, I, I guess I'll just you know follow in her footsteps and and like it, if it's starting to follow her really close, I'll like like zigzag. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. So you're gonna move to just right there? Yeah, I, I feel like that's all I can really move. If we're in combat, I don't even know. I don't think so. Okay, Apollo? Okay. So, <clears throat> fuck man, no one's attacking it. I guess I'm just gonna kinda stay back and observe. And, cause I can't move much farther than this. I really wanna shoot it, but I'm not gonna endanger my friends, so... I'll just wait for Gary and I'll stay here. Okay. Gary, what are you doing? Um, I... Gary... Me. I'm going to... Come up here. Um, and I'm gonna see this thing for the first time. And, like, are we killing this thing? This is just, like, another thing, right? Uh, well, Lyrell didn't really... You know, attack it. She, she's just running past it, and it's just like really funny. It's like, uh, <coughs> oh man, shit, I got, gotta get, I got something in my throat, man. <coughs> okay. Why, well, you would be up to be able to move again if you pleased. Okay. Yeah, I'm we're, gonna, not, we're not in combat range, or we're not in initiative right now. It's like a just a pseudo combat, yeah. Not All right, really. I would like to use my pseudo turn slow. to drink. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm gonna move down to the door. Okay, now you can make it to the door. It is closed. Oh, um, but closer. after you move to the door, oh, the yeah. spore moves a little closer. <laughs> How big is this spore? Um, the spore is considered a large plant. So, like... What? 10? 10 by 10? I will Google it. I kind of want to lasso it. You know what I mean? I look over to follow. I I just feel, I like feel like really happy right now and I just want to do that. A large creature occupies a f five foot square. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, large creatures, I believe you won't be able to like grapple or anything, um, but you could uh, probably try to lasso it, but it would be very hard to decide how much control you have over the thing, but it is floating. So okay. you uh, might be able to impact it. Yeah, so free action, take out my uh, hemp rope, 50 feet. 
and uh, I am going to fashion a lasso. And you know, being being a soldier, uh, we had to learn these things. So uh, yeah, just uh, to double check your ability on tying knots, um, can you roll a survival check? Yeah, no, no problem, dude. Yeah, it's a mighty fine lasso knot, slip knot. Yeah, and then uh, I'm just gonna, uh, whenever, whenever it seems prompt and ready to, to do so, uh, I am going to lasso it. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna just say beat a twelve on a roll to hit. Uh, just a regular d20. Then? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Because I don't think you have any sort of lasso skill no, or no, anything, no, no. so no, we're I, just going to roll a standard so. d20 of no pluses. Yeah. And yeah, you, you your your rope gets around it and it cinches a little bit. The thing floats. It's you don't pull hard enough to like split it open or anything, but you have the lasso around it. Um, upon your feeling, you feel like you can shift this thing about five feet for every ten steps that you move. You can, like, pull it. Cool. Yeah, uh, Ly Lyriel, you reach the door. It is locked. Okay. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to investigate it and make sure there's not a trap. Is there a dungeon delver? Okay. Uh, that gives you advantage or just automatically lets you know? Uh, advantage. Okay. Uh, so roll investigation with advantage. Yeah, um, you can just tell it's a pretty standard lock on the thing. Nothing too crazy. Okay, um, would you let me try to lock pick it in this turn, or should I wait? Yeah, you're not, we're not really in turns, so. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna You know, this lock. is all, all this is doing is taking time. Alright. Uh, and of hand, right? Yeah. Okay. I can't see your dice. And, yeah, it clicks open. And really inside, good. you can see a bunch of boxes. You can see four chests. You can see another smaller chest on a table. Um, and other than that, it's just a room with lots of loot okay um um and as you do that the spore attempts to move forward but is restricted by the rope it just you feel a good tug um and it stays in place good boy and uh, i'm gonna look over to apollo and gary and say leave leave gassy alone okay I'm gonna try something. Oh, no. How am I supposed to get by? Huh? You can you can go by. He's not gonna bite. He's just, he's harmless. Gassing will don't do too much. And then I'm gonna start saying, Ooh. Ooh. and um, I'm gonna start uh, initiating uh, uh, beast sense. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna try to just. <laughs> I'm gonna get around Gassy. What? I'm stuck. Uh oh. Going to the wall. Yeah. God damn it. Uh -oh. Gassy's coming. No, I got you. it. I got Gassy's it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Gassy sees you. Fuck that yeah, shit. So, you. Uh, you can see the chest. You can see the boxes. You can see the table with the looks like a little money box on it. Okay. It, it's been a couple weeks. What were we doing here in the first place? Let me ask you that. Looking for a history bro. check. <laughs> no. You should have watched well, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I told you to rewatch the episode. I it, there's a lot of content. <laughs> you remember you're in the first first level of the Thieves Guild and you were investigating it because Jarek said he wants to see if you guys can find out who is running such organized crime in Baldur's Gate. You are also looking for Kiara's spice box, and you were also trying to get your revenge on the people that mugged you. Yeah. In episode zero, one. <laughs> All right, I. Who oh, do I want? They mugged you guys. Yeah, I, they, I literally got it for this. I'm gonna use detect magic. I have after this, I have one level one spell left, and I just want to feel if there's anything in the room that's magical. 
Um, okay, let me... It's gonna probably give it away a little bit, but did any of you guys have anything magic before you were mugged in episode one? <laughs> Fuck, I don't remember. I think... I I don't, like, I don't it, think it would just been like anything magic. I know, I know. It was, but, I mean, if you, I said you could have had like a little trinket or like an heirloom, nothing like, oh, too crazy. The only I mean, thing I was my loot. My ring would be in there, but it Your wasn't loot? anything crazy. Like my 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 loot, but it wasn't okay. like it wasn't, wasn't magical. magical. It was just okay. Crazy. You you sensed Gary's mud, and you sensed the helmet, and you sensed the typical magical items that are in your guys' possession, like the yeah, I've, ring I've, and. I've specifically kept it vague in case yeah. you as a DM wanted to make it mean something other than just backstory stuff, but... <laughs> my character wouldn't know, and my character might have already been, like, in a homeless state of unremembering. But maybe, like, getting clocked is why I didn't remember. Like, I don't, that's up to you. Like, my guy wouldn't know. But he actually had a bag of holding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> then I guess at this point, then I just start opening the chest. Okay. Whoa. Um. Yeah, the gas board gives... This time, actually, the line goes a little slack, and it moves a little towards you, Gabaru. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, oh, while it's coming towards me, I'm going to go underneath it and touch it, and then I'm going to cast the beast sense on it, and... Uh, what does base sense do? Uh, it, so it's kind of good and bad for me. Um, but so I touch a, a willing creature. Uh, is this thing willing? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Um, I want to tie it to something. That Maybe spell I'm... also takes an hour. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> So, yeah, okay. I don't think he can... Uh, I mean, gonna... you, if you got to continue this chant for, like, an hour if you're going to cast that. I know, <laughs> that's the thing, but it's not uka really. Shaka, I just read uka, it. Uka, uka, shaka, uka, Literally, uka, it's like... Uka, uka. But, yeah, um, so it's coming towards me. Uh, I'm going to uh, pull on the slack, and then uh, I'm going to see if there's anything I can tie it to. Okay, so you're going to back away, retighten the rope, and then try and tie it? Tie it to something, yeah. Okay, one more survival. Okay. Yeah, you you were able to tie it up. Um, you know, yeah. you stay within. You try and keep your distance from the thing, keeping the rope tight, and you tie it, and you get by it. Uh. The gas bore tries to move towards Gary. There's a rope between. Uh. Sorry. Here and here. <laughs> um, and Gobber, you see all that chests and whatnot. Ooh, uh, I'll go and open. Uh, which one do you want to take, Apollo? Whichever one's the grooviest. The, the grooviest? Um. <coughs> um, okay. Um, I'll just take uh, the one that's farthest in the back. Farthest in the back? Okay. I'll take the closest one to the right. <laughs> and then, uh, G uh Gary. I, yeah. Get on your chest, man. Yeah, Gary, can you make a just a dexterity check on avoiding the gas spore and the rope without getting clotheslined or touching the spore as you were on the other side of that? Yeah, you uh, you slide under the rope, keeping your distance from the spore, and it's tied up. It's trying to get this way, but it can't get any farther. All right, I'm gonna pick whatever chest is left over. All okay, right, yeah, you guys all open a chest. Uh, let's start with Apollo as he opened one first. Um, you find a chest with your old belongings in it. It has a loot. It has uh, a sword. It had. You could have a any starter kit of items of your choice. 
like uh, one of the <laughs> Explorer pack or whatever. Um, and you feel very satisfied that what was taken from you is back. Why rail? You open your chest, you find your mother's necklace, you find your blanket, you find anything else that you had along with you at the start. Uh, Gary, you don't even really remember what you lost. <laughs> um, you find a couple recipes, actually, on brewing beer. Um, you find another beer. And... <laughs> Yeah, you find another change of clothes. Excellent. Gobble. Okay. Um, you find uh, a little sash from your time in the military. You find, uh, you know, your stuff. Um, what did you have anything of significant from your backstory that you want back at this point? No. Nah, okay. just that, just that little. What do you call it? Stash? Stash? Well, we'll say you find your your cookbook too. Oh, my your your army approved military grade chef cookbook. <laughs> your disease. Don't get too excited. You're gonna die soon. Yeah. Um. I might have also, a cure in here, dude. Gary and Gabru, roll a con check. Safe. Oh, look what I did. Oh shit! That was a oh shit. my god! I just Is the music over cutting in and out? Get <laughs> right. You uh, you you feel this stuff in your throat. It's like a green bile, and you just have to spit it out. And it's just you could tell that this is just coming from inside you, and it hurts as you spit it up. So that's when I'm like crouched down, looking in my chest. I'm just gonna like sit on my butt open that beer and pour it into my mug and I'm kinda just you know I've died or almost died so many times that I'm just like I don't know where it's going to happen after this but I'm going to be drunk for it and I just continue to drink and I know I crit failed so I assume I don't need a roll but I just mean to be I'm making I'm like beyond I'm like someone's going to carry me soon drink it you know, you are drinking that pain away. Um, Fuck that, take so you guys can go over to the box on the table and also check some of the other boxes in this room. I'm heading to the box on the table. Yeah, I'll look at the boxes in the room. As I look at so, uh, Lyrell, you open the little box on the table and there is 500 gold sitting oh, in sweet. here. All right. You guys, everyone else could see. Yeah, no, I, was, I wasn't going to try to hide it. Um, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to... I'm assuming it's in, like, a pack or something. Yeah. I'm going to kind of hold it up. It's like, hey, everyone, a uh, lot of gold. Um, whoever finds the spice box will give you the extra hundred. And I want the spice box. Oh, um, and... Apollo, you were the one checking the other boxes, mm -hmm. and you did find something. It smelled really good. You were kind of drawn to it, and you crack it open, and you see a bunch of spices that look like they're... You said spice box? Yeah. Extra hundred? Huh. Uh huh. Guys, <laughs> why, why don't we do this? Instead of me getting an extra hundred as I pull it out, let's just split it up 125, everybody. A little bit more fair. We all came here for this, right? Uh, we're we're uh, a team, right? That's a spice box. A am am I wrong? Aren't we a team? And I kind of put it there. Do you want me to give the gold to everyone? Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'm just gonna drop it into the party sheet and split it. Um, you guys all get 125. Apollo, are you going to give Lyril the spice box as requested? Yeah, I mean, if she wants it, we're, we have to give it to somebody else anyway. Yeah, it's not like I'm going to steal it. Yeah, yeah, it smells great. You guys can all smell it. Um, the spices look very fine, and there's ones that you've never heard of. It's oh. kind of an amazing sight, especially to you, Gabru, as you're... Oh. 
your chef it's like you're like wow you could smell so much potential in the scents and everything in it and this is the most valuable box of spice you have ever seen wow um saying that gary threw up on the floor uh could i maybe like try to look for a remedy in the in the book uh, about maybe some kind of poison ex uh, remedy cook and if so you know if there's a spice box here i might as well take the, that spice right now <laughs> roll a history check okay. to see if you rem remember something like this even in the book and I get some remedy. Yeah, you remember that you studied this book and and and, and there's stuff that will beat the common cold, but you could tell what whatever was done by these plants is going to need a greater healer than anything you can whip up. Okay. And yeah, that's that's a spice box. That's really good spices right there. Woo. I make some good rather guru, -ru, you know what I'm saying? It is good rather guru. -ru. Um, yeah, so well, we we got all of our stuff, but I feel like we need to finish the job, right? Yeah. Um I mean Gary, you're you look you look like you got bonked on the head a couple times, but like you ingested a lot, you're throwing up, you're drinking a lot. I mean, do you want to, like, rest up for, the, you know, some time, maybe a little bit? Yeah, yeah we could rest, but I could keep going, you know? I could keep going. Right, I mean, we have Gasty outside. He, he'll he protect us, you know? Let's, no, no, let's no, no, rest. No, watch this. Yeah, so um, you do, you are all out of range of Gassy, and he is in clear sight from this angle. <laughs> okay, um... I, I, I want to play us a song as we're resting and just say, guys, like, I got my loot back. I I put this together myself. I, and I start to play it and realize it's kind of out of tune and, and kind of start to tune it as we're going. And I want to play Song of Rest so that way if we're only staying here for a little bit, we at least get a little bit extra health from a short rest, which soothing mu music or oration will help vitalize my wounded allies during a short rest. If any of my friendly creatures who can hear me perform regain hit points at the end of the short rest by spending one or more hit dice, each of those creatures regains an extra 1d6. Uh, when I reach... Oh, I'm not ninth level yet, but it's 1d8 at ninth level, 1d10 at 13, yada, yada, yada. So if we're only staying for a short rest, at least we'll get a little bit extra. Um, so I start to play the song, and it's just like... Big rolls keep no big dice keep on rolling. Low rolls got us moaning. Rolling twenties got us playing. Wednesdays, Tuesdays, all the deaths. Bam, bam, bam. We are rolling 20. Bam, 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 bam. We are killing on the week. Bam, 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 bam. We drink on ones and 20. Bam, 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 bam. That happens more than one. And then I was going to a solo. I was like, everyone's starting to chill out, and I realize I'm like going a little too ham. Oh, you're bad. So yeah, um, you're bad. <laughs> this was uh, <laughs> the instrument that Apollo has had the most time with. This is his home loot that he learned to play on. That he has traveled along with so much time. And this song, it really is resonating with all of you. Apollo role performance check with advantage oh with advantage oh my performance is a plus nine with advantage it's still not great but it's a dirty 20 it's and that's enough it, this song just sounds great um you guys really have a hard time resisting the urge to clap your hands and tap your feet as this is going um, 
but then at the same time, it it really just makes you guys feel like you could get a, the best night's sleep that you can. Well, uh, before we fall asleep, um, I'm going to kind of direct everyone's like, hey, uh, just, just for safety, since, you know, I don't actually have to sleep sleep, um, if you guys all want to kind of hunker down behind me in case, for whatever reason, I'm, I'm not saying you're nodding as bad, Gavru, just if for whatever reason it gets out, uh, I'll be able to see it before it's too late. Uh, yeah, Gassy is like Gassy won't. Yeah, Gassy is cool. Don't worry about it. Um, but you're right, and so I get right behind her, cuddle up, and knock <clears throat> out. Do you guys reclose the door? Just yeah, I'll, I'll reclose the door. <laughs> I'm also gonna pee in the chest of my that had that my belongings, and uh, and then close the lid, and uh, look at everybody else and be like. And uh, then I'm gonna hunker behind Lyrell the boss, and uh, I'm gonna finish my beer and go to bed. And I will also, uh, when I when I like kneel down to trance, I'll kind of put my bow in front of me so I can grab it quickly if I need to. Okay. Um. So you guys are just doing a short rest here? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That's up. I, I did that just in case we couldn't take a long rest, but I have a feeling people need a long one. But it's up to you guys. Y'all right. you, you tell me. Yeah, it's all up to you. I mean, I mean, your short rest is my long rest, so don't ask me. Yeah, I mean, I'm the only one that needs a long rest, right, Gary? Well, they don't oh, get Gary, their Gary's spell slots. Hurt. Like, Apollo won't get his oh. spell slots unless he long rests. Yeah, I think maybe... Maybe because Gassy is out there and, like, protecting us. Like, like we can do the long eight hours, guys. Come on. Do we... Do we have a already unconscious. Here? He's just sitting upright, sleeping. <laughs> sleeping. Do we have a sense of what time it is? Like, when we got in, in, in the... In the first level of the... The guild. Um, since you guys left, you know, you have organized the... You had the fight with the thieves, the sh cooks, and then you had to distract the other guys that left that were expecting the dinner that you prepared. And then you <laughs> just fought all these gas spores. I'm going to say that all of this and then looting the chests in here has taken about five hours since you guys have left the elf song. Oh shit. Well, I mean, we could do a nap, but I feel like we have the the element of surprise right now still, right? But I know you're out, Apollo, and Gary needs sleep. Yeah, I'm not out out, but I'm out enough where it's only a couple hours different, so we might as well wait it. Okay. <sighs> Okay. I'm gonna say four hours into your guys' sleep, Gary and Gabaru roll a con check. Oh no. Uh oh. This part now wake me up from my is slumber. My, is my charcoal kinda of helping? Fuck you. Is your what helping? <laughs> my charcoal yeah, better charcoal. Oh, God. God. Bless wow. They both rolled uh, super. Both of you are feeling really sick around the four hour mark. Um, you both kind of got to puke um, up more of this bile. And you guys know that you are not healthy. Um, you could either keep resting or maybe try and wake up the party and see if you can get something about your condition taken care of oh, as, you, as you feel that this sickness can be fatal. Fuck. Do I wake up from uh, this? Joke's on you. I'm already puking and feeling ill. I'm just gonna sleep right through this shit. Just gonna close my eyes and go back to bed. Yeah, Lyrael, I'm gonna say that your trance is fully... You're, you're fully rested at this point. But, All right. 
Um, and do, you, do, I, you, do I kind of see that? Yeah, they're you, you, you see them. You, you're just waking up. They're not, they're looking pale. They're looking sickly. Um, you know, Gabri's green skin is looking more like a gray. It's. <laughs> um. Well, I'm not sure if this will help much because I'm not sure what's wrong with them. Obviously, but um, since I have the time, I will. Uh, second level cure wounds, both of them, and then go back into another trance. Which I believe is just double the cure wounds, so I'll just do it twice for both of them. I just make sure. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, 2d8 um, plus 3 each. Or yeah, your knowledge one. of cure wounds is it doesn't cure diseases. Well, I, I know but, that, but I don't know. Yeah, it, but it will. It it will. Um, actually, can you guys roll your hit dice, uh, Gabriel and Gary? Yes, it has been four hours. Add one d six. Add one d six with my plus four. Or but <laughs> okay. plus a song of rest. Sorry. It's um on the first page. We never like short rest in our campaigns, but that's actually what that's for. Yeah. That little dice, Ooh! and that's what you recover in a short rest. So the four. Yeah, whatever your hit die is. Damn, Look, that, huh? Gary got 15 back, son! That's good. Damn, your hit die is a d12? Yeah. Crazy. yeah. And then add the, um, add the d6, Doug. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll add the d6. Gary, did you take off that extra five, or... I did. Do I gotta do it? Okay, cool. But wait, do we need this for long resting? Huh? We're gonna long rest. We're just gonna wake up with all our hit points back, anyways. Well, you guys are both sick, I so mean, you could be taking damage in your sleep, which I think is why he did that. Or I wanted to see if you wanted to let more time pass, so I was letting you guys reevaluate. Um, not that I need it, but I'm gonna. Oh, I one. see, I see. So I'm taking this like now. Or I'm doing this now so that I don't die in my sleep later in my in my long rest. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm, sad. I'm just letting you guys know that you're waking up sickly and your health is deteriorating. Um, Gabru, and since you did take the short rest, you get the hit die no matter what. But yeah. you can't go back to sleep here. Um, I need I need to eat something. I need to eat. I, I, my stomach is just empty and I... You know what? That that's that thing we got poisoned by. Maybe it's secure, and like um, I'm gonna ask Lyrell uh mm -hmm. to start uh, a little fire, and uh, and uh, I'm gonna go and grab some of the the exploded uh vest of the the exploded uh I don't know the plant substance that you know exploded all over the floor. Oh, we'll die faster. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go pick up like a nice little chunk of it and maybe I can mess around with it like food and uh make it into like a stew with my last rat. As um you know, I've I I've heard of people talking with plants before. Can anyone here do anything like that? Or maybe that was just a story I heard about. I can speak with an animal, but it takes a little <clears throat> sorry, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get it. <clears throat> Mm. That must have been a story I heard. It was a burning bush that spoke to me. That's what I heard. Gabriel, uh, you say you're getting near this gas spore. All right, how close are you going to get to it? I'm following him. Just um, I'm going to, like, see how it is, like, kind of creep up on it, and then be on, like, the opposite side of its eye. And go around it. Oh, a stealth track. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, it, you're on the back side. Its eyeball is turned, looking the other way. But as you rotate around it, you know that you would move into its eyesight. <laughs> yeah. It's totally fine. Uh, I'm going to try to grab a nice little chunk. Okay. Uh, you can grab a chunk of one of the other decaying plants. Yeah. And then bring it back. The the spore floats towards you. 
and I slide underneath it. <laughs> okay, uh, deck save. Hold save? You sure did? Freaking yeah, with advantage, dangerous sense. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you avoid it, but it's <laughs> it's pulling tension on the rope. Hey, Gassy, <laughs> calm down. Well, anyways, Ugh. hey, Laro, and then uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm gonna take out my cooking utensils. Uh, the last rat I have, uh, and like maybe uh, chop it up and uh. And, and boil it until until it, it, it smells okay-ish. And then I have salt and pepper from the kitchen uh, earlier, so I'm going to put that in there as well. Okay, so you're whipping up a plant dish. Yep. Um, how, about, how about we take our 10 minutes here? Um, yes. Let's take our break. So and talk about how you're going to die. What are you talking about? Hmm. <laughs> Yep. So uh, we'll be back in ten. Get your popcorn. I'm gonna die. What the hell? You might. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what hey. I heard. Orcs don't die. All right. Okay. Well, we will see you guys soon. Brb. Luthic is yep. with me. <laughs> what is going on, everyone? We are the Rolling Twenties. We drink on ones and twenties. We drink on ones and twenties. We are returning from our break. I hope you guys got everything done that you needed to do. I hope you guys didn't leave because that would be sad. But um, yeah, we got our party. We got two sick party members, diseased, and they're all taking a little nap and cooking and doing all that stuff. But uh, Wu Man, do you have any advice of the day? Oh shit. Advice of the day would be just do it. Nike. Whatever is happening, whatever is going on, it's not going to get any better unless you do what you must do. And wake up with that mentality in the morning and be like, I'm going to fuck this day up and I'm going to have a good old time. Whoop! Woo! Hey, I have a question for you guys, actually. This was really interesting. I figured you guys might like answering this. All right? It's a fuck, marry, kill scenario. Okay? But the options are... You ready? Rice, noodles, and bread. Now, mind you, noodles brings ramen. It brings all types of pasta. So you would not be able to have pasta or ramen or anything like that. Any type of soup. Bread is bread, and rice is any rice dish theoretically be gone. So, the question is, fuck, Mary kill. Who are you having on occasion? Who is your every day? And who are you never having for the rest of your life between the three main carbs? Beyond potatoes. Okay, I'll step, to, step up to the plate and go first here. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm fucking Brad. Like, like a baguette, get, son. Like a it's baguette. It's gonna give you a good time on your burger. It's gonna <laughs> give you a good time here and there. Like, you don't need it. Like, as your, you know, you know, you don't gotta be in love with it. But it's always there, and it's gonna be a good time. Um, I feel like it might be a little racist, but I'm killing rice. <laughs> I'm sorry. That there goes my sushi. There goes my burrito filler. There goes that. But like, rice is good, but it's not pasta. Like pasta is forever. I'm marrying pasta. I'm Italian. Um, <laughs> Yo, you might be changing my mind on something, but just go ahead. And, I'm, I, I want to go last now because well, I need to hear like, everyone's argument. I don't know. Just like pasta includes lasagna. It includes. Uh, macaroni and includes all these good foods, chicken alfredo, spaghetti, like pasta is just, it's pasta. It's great. Also includes like tortellini, ravioli, like 
I can't. No, it's all there's so much variety, so many different flavors. It could be done with pasta. Like rice is good, but it's it is in pasta. <laughs> you know, I'm the opposite. Uh, no pasta. Pasta can fuck off. And then so and then bread. I love bread. This is my number one. So you're gonna marry rice. bread. I'm gonna marry bread. I'm gonna fuck rice. All right, well, g- give us a little explanation why, because you kind of just flipped his world upside down. And I was like you at first before, but I don't know, dude. Epic made a compelling argument. You, not- you might need to bring me back to the dark side, dude. So what- what- <laughs> why do you have rice on the table? Um, I feel like rice over pasta because, I first of all, a lot of times when you get Italian dishes, it's like, here's like four, three meatballs and then all the pasta in the world. And I just don't need it. I don't want it. Keep your pasta. Mm. Um, I feel like Wisconsin just must not do good pasta. And, yeah. and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> don't don't, lie, like, at all. I don't That's need sad. like I don't need ramen more than I need like rice. I think also I think I just like Asian food a lot. And I need rice. I need I mean, I like a lot sushi. Of Asian noodles too. But <laughs> hmm, interesting. All right. I need the rice. Parzival, I feel like naturally you're next. Oh god, it's such a hard choice. Um, fuck, so killing off one of them means anything using bread is gone. Anything using bread. Sandwiches, burgers, uh, even a dinner so roll. Like, so like... Pizza! Is cake on there too, I'm assuming. Ooh, the- I don't think- Cake no, is cake's bread. not on there. Be- I mean, here's it uses why. bread. But but no, but no, it uses flour. But here's the reason why I'm going to say no, because it's not fair to take out cake with bread because you're not taking out really any desserts with noodles and you're not taking out any desserts with rice. So, mm, okay. so bread is a standalone of bread. Not even cupcakes. That's still a cake. Okay, okay, cool. Still doesn't make it fucking easy. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, who are you um, marrying? Oh, uh, that's still even a hard question. Like, I I love a good fried rice, and I love like a good ravioli, and I love good sandwiches. But um, it sounds like you are killing bread. Bro, are we gonna have a different? I'm from Wisconsin. If I if I kill a fucking grilled cheese, I would be ostracized. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, this is like the deep. I knew this was gonna be a deep conversation, dude. I knew this was gonna be interesting. Yeah, this is definitely going on the thumbnail. (laughs) So, um, bro, you you gotta make a decision, dog. At, At least break down one and eliminate one from it. Who are you gonna marry? Okay, marrying. Um, you gotta pick can't one, live dude. without shit. Probably, probably rice. I I cannot Ooh. go without rice. Like, oh, I sense a bread fried, being killed. I sense bread rice. being killed, guys. Fried rice is like my life food. Like, oh no, a, a good rice is so good. Um, oh, he's about to kill. Oh, do it. Just do it. Who are you fucking? Say it. I, th- I think bread. I'll, I'll fuck bread. No, you. I know. I yeah, bro. No. Like really? Pasta. Pasta is good. Shit about I, pasta, really. Besides that, pasta, he likes ravioli. Pasta is good, but I think I could live without it if I if I needed to. Mm. Bread. Bread is in so much like good shit that I I don't think I could live without it. There are so many different types of pasta. I can't believe you guys. <laughs> All right. I mean, whoa. Yes. It's such a hard question, though. It's so much more versatile than rice. Like, yeah, but I here's the thing: know, I just dude. want rice. Like, rice is so good; it can be made so many different ways. And just plain white rice with a really juicy steak. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Uh, woo, you, you, you're next. <laughs> Have you ever had a good lasagna? Yeah. Honestly, lasagna yeah. is not that good. Whoa. You haven't had a good lasagna. You take that back. What the f- Yeah, I, I haven't had a good lasagna. What kind of lasagnas have you even had? There's white don't sauce say, lasagna. Yeah, don't say Stouffer's. Don't say Stouffer's. I, I haven't had... There's my lasagna. <laughs> Whoa, wait. I, my wife 
makes and metaspec 100 money. bits we'll drink for that we will drink for that oh metaspec you should answer this question too while while woo's answering this and thinking of his answer fuck mary kill scenario for anyone in the chat you have to pick who you're gonna fuck who you're gonna marry and who you kill off here we'll make a poll bread rice or pasta one you can never have again one you can only have on occasion and one you can have for every meal uh we're not gonna touch potatoes in this because that's sacrilegious yeah, but potatoes would win potatoes over all of so those much. things. They're the most versatile. Yeah, thing. But potatoes are too and versatile. Also, and also, a fuck Mary kills only three. So. Exactly. But um, oh yeah, let's drink. So occasionally, so f fuck means like occasional, right? Yeah, let's just say maybe once a week, once every two weeks. Pasta, pasta, rice, and I, bread. I, meta. I like I like a carb. I like I like carb like you know loading on one day, and the next day is like a great day. Who I'm killing off is going to be hard for me because I am Indian and oh. rice is in almost every dish in, in a sense. Chicken biryani, I just had right now. I was just thinking about it. I'm like, would I really kill off chicken biryani? And I thought to myself and I said, yeah, because I'm a sandwich guy. I love sandwiches. A sandwich is like... Mm -hmm. You know, all different yeah. types of characters, and it's never the same. Yeah. And it's just a nice, like, balance. And, like, sometimes I want something, like, really pickly with, like, some salami and some meat and, like, squished between, like, two sourdough pieces of bread. Does bread include tortillas? Ooh, I would say yes, actually. Okay. Yeah, I can't go without tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm so, your burrito. Come on. Yeah. So, so I Going off topic here for a second because it might actually change my answer. Is ramen noodles uh, a pasta? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pasta. Oh well, shit. Um. Um. And so far, two people voted to marry pasta, and that poll has ended. Starting the next <laughs> I, one on who we're killing. Wow. The only reason, <laughs> the only reason I'm saying kill, kill bread now is because I have fucking ramen right here. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So I'm a sandwich guy. So you're marrying rice, you're killing bread, and you're fucking noodles, I'm assuming. Uh Parzival. Oh, uh, oh Larry um, answered. He's killing bread. Damn, killing bread. Bro! You're killing bread? And fucking Wu right now is killing rice? That, that was not No right. one can kill bread. You can't okay, kill bread, it. god damn it. Wait, so okay, Wu. Uh, marrying, br marrying bread, yes. uh, fucking pasta, killing rice. Yeah. But you killed. I love rice. You just killed rice. You just went backwards. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just going to go backwards. Shut up. Uh, uh, I, okay. Kill Woo. the rice. Kill the rice. <laughs> so, so Wu, you're, you're killing rice and you're marrying bread? Yep. I can eat a sandwich every day. Oh, I'm marrying bread as well. My I, my normal lunch is a cup of ramen and a grilled cheese. So I literally have to kill. I literally have to marry bread because Cubans make too much bread. We have too many crackers. I breakfast burrito is my favorite food. I cannot go without bread. But to yep. go without rice is crazy to me. I eat so much rice. I put rice in burritos. I put rice in with steak. God, fried rice is good, but that means I don't get mac and cheese. That means I don't get ramen. That means I don't get lasagna. That means I don't get Alfredo. Can I substitute it for another yeah, carb? Yeah. Am I yeah, okay? It, it's funny. I, I, had, I had rice for dinner, and now I'm having uh, huh. ramen. So. Am I okay with I had substituting pasta for noodles? Or no, I didn't. I had chili cheese steaks. I'm lying. I had pasta <laughs> yesterday. Sandwich. Sorry. I feel like I could get away with having almost every flavor of noodle on a pizza. Like every sauce, every topping, and I just get away from having the soft noodle. But... Best. Pete. But you'd have to do it. Does that mean to survive. that I'm keeping rice just because of how much I love rice? But yeah, I'm, I'm in the same boat that you are. Rice like so making funny. your own pizza for like dinner is a lot more work than making pasta. So yeah, you may be able to obtain some flavors, but it's gonna be a lot more work if you're making your own pizza. That is true, man. But I feel like 
I feel like I could get so many of the same flavors from bread that I would from pasta if I just worked the dish correctly and maybe make a sandwich. But with rice, it's a whole different world of flavors. I, you know, you would hold, you had really almost convinced me to go with pasta, dude. Epic. You really almost did, but pasta's gonna, too good. I have it like twice. I, a week. I might have to kill pasta. Because I think I can get away with making almost everything except for ramen and pasta and mac and cheese, with her, which really hurts. I love mac and cheese. But I can't get rid of rice. Make it with rice. Yeah, I can't get rid of rice. It's not going to hold it right. It, it's really like not, all about like, the shells that like hold in the you're cheese. You're right. It, it, I Fuck feel like I'm going to regret this later, but I feel like I can have fried rice more often than I can have mac and cheese. So I gotta go with rice, dude, because I, I have crazy. rice more often, crazy. and I gotta marry bread, so I'm gonna fuck rice on, on occasion, and, and I'm gonna marry the fuck out of bread, and I'm, I gotta fucking... Brandon, if you come over, you cannot have lasagna, okay? Remember this. Look, it's me. I'm I'm uh, the second most Italian here, I think. I'm yeah, everyone 1%. Everyone answer this question wrong, you're gonna die in today's campaign. No, just <laughs> I kill the pasta. Hey, What's you want me to do? Hey, I'm fucking pasta, okay? I can't yeah, live without it. DM, it. I didn't, DM, I didn't say... No, I know, I know. But, uh, but Albino <laughs> and Shweddy killing pasta... You know what, yeah, man? I, I really had to think about it, and I almost, I almost had pasta as my fuck, but I, I can just combine too many of the flavors, man. I can make a chicken. I see it was too pizza. easy to kill pasta. I, I can make like the only really thing that I'm fully missing out on is fucking ramen, ramen noodles. Is ramen, yeah. and like maybe um, yeah. chicken noodle. Ooh. Like I'm not, I'm not crazy about chicken noodle like that. I mean, but with like pasta, you could even like <laughs> loop in like some of the the Asiany flavors, like yakisoba or you know ramen and other stuff with pasta you like, could it's you a could make... very <laughs> wide <laughs> wait so macaroni, and, macaroni and my chili so i don't need it Fuck pasta. since since we since we brought it up when i was talking about it i'll bring it up since you're talking about it you've just never had a good chicken noodle or a chicken dumpling no i, I i'll be honest i have but i'm not a soup guy beyond ramen i don't like anything but the noodle in the soup but that's because I don't like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a, I like, I like individual dishes that I'll combine myself. But since that's one giant dish, mm -hmm. I don't know. For, for me, it's not always my, my favorite, favorite thing. So I'm not the type of person who's like going to go to pho. I'll go to ramen, we have, but that's it. We, we have a couple like mom and pop diners uh, around where I live with, that have like chicken noodle soup that is to die for. Yeah, like minestrone soup is that a is that a pasta or a rice? Minestrone soup, I don't eat it, so I don't know. But I'm are pot stickers pasta. a pasta? Pasta. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no way. I'm getting rid of pasta. It's my so pasta gross. Gross. <laughs> They're like the worst thing at any Chinese. Right but see, now in the freezer. My it's my crazy. argument again it. goes with that that everything that's inside a pot sticker you can just put with rice. Mm hmm. Like a deconstructed version, of course. But My like, point. You just fucking. Don't you, you ever just want to have that crunch and you know, and that and that softness inside, and then that like, steaminess that comes out. Oof. Uh, but tell you what, bro. You know the mm -hmm. bread version of a pot sticker, an empanada, Holmes. We fucking make an empanada. It's the same thing, but dry. <laughs> it's so different. <laughs> it's the same thing, but dry. Same, same, but different. Okay, listen, well, if you're watching on something else to put in soy sauce, we'll be fine. Okay, if you're watching on YouTube, please let us know in the comments. Who's it's... looking up pasta right now? <laughs> <If> you're... <laughs> Who are you fucking marrying and killing between pasta, bread, and rice? Please let us know. <laughs> Get to the bottom of this. Oh, man. Okay. I, I just can't believe that you guys are killing pasta. I can't believe I'm, someone I'm killed not bread. Get over it. I I fucking I can't believe someone killed bread. No, you can't kill bread. Yeah, so, like, yeah, Larry killed bread. Are aren't there noodles that are made out of flour? If we're just destructing everything, you can just make noodles out of fucking bread. <laughs> no, but that's it. Literally, but then, it's the then form. It becomes pasta, and you gotta kill it. Because <laughs> yeah, noodles out of bread. I think you're talking about onion rings. <laughs> 
Yeah, but we're also talking about a different version where one's like a more moist item, giggity, and the other one is a more dry item. And like, they're just two very different dishes. And then there's rice. Rice is good with everything. Yeah, like rice is, it's, it's solid, but like, it's also, just not like as wild it's rice. It's not as versatile as bread and pasta, in my opinion. The fuck are you talking about? It goes with but everything. But see, I will argue yeah, but that you're right. Like actually, enhance it. No, but see, you're like right. It's, it's kind of there. It's a filler to me. <laughs> but see, here's the thing. I'm using that argument against you because you are correct. While pasta is more versatile than rice, pasta is the same type of versatile as bread is, and I would argue bread's more versatile than pasta. So as you're gathering most of the spectrum that pasta gets in bread, there's a much different spectrum that you gather from rice gathering in different possible flavors and things like that where i would say bread you know what? i'm gonna have my delicious garlic bread on my side of my spaghetti and you can fuck <laughs> off and i'm gonna put that marinara sauce on my sandwich with a chicken parm on that shit dog and it's just not gonna have the fucking pasta it's just gonna be a sandwich you know I'm, I'm gonna get like a good thai steak or something with some like a good sauce that'll seep into the seep into the rice like that makes rice fucking great I love that we're you all arguing killed. about this right now, and we're all yeah. standing up for our favorite I, one. Like, I feel fuck like everybody. It's steak and I, rice. I really, that's what I'm still standing up for. Bro, it. I, I, I feel well, like it's steak and potatoes for me. Like, steak yeah. and potatoes. I don't know what steak and rice is about. No, dude, steak and rice is <laughs> no, one like, of the best things ever. Like a white rice like that's like a normal in the juice. steak. A normal steak is good with like potatoes. Yeah, but like if if it's a if it's like a flavored steak, like put sauce on it or something. Oh, um, that thing is. I would so argue backwards. I would argue. I just don't need potatoes. Oh, damn it, I'm so hungry. No, but see, here, here's, here's, and again, now we're getting back into this. Here's why I would argue backwards. Because potatoes have very much their own starchy flavor, while rice is much more of a bland, even though it is a starch. So when you're using the rice, if you have just like a salt and pepper steak and all the juices are coming out, it's medium well, you have red juices, you have the flavor juices coming out, the rice physically soaks it up. And then you have a, oh, dude, it's so delicious having just like, a flavor full of steak juice in a scoop of rice with a bite of steak, dude. Oh no, I, mm, I don't know. That is really good. Yeah. Like, it, it, if you guys have not tried that, it might change your idea on rice. Just have some really good white rice with a really good basic steak, dude, and it might change a lot because potatoes are amazing. I will take potatoes over rice, but you need to realize like this is a different moment. I mean, potatoes beat all three of those. Agreed. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I agree. All of those are it's not even debatable. Yeah, no, I I agree. Potatoes are better than all Fries three. Over of them. guys. <laughs> yeah, I think I would take potatoes over bread, but that that one's real close, dude. Like that's real close. It's like potatoes is like one A, bread is like one B by like. You would never want five. chips again, like like a Lay's barbecue. No, chip. no, 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 no. They're both happening. They're both happening. The, potatoes are like they're they're like multiple levels ahead. Yeah, it's like it's like <laughs> bread rice enhances. Potatoes, we can make bread can rice enhance potatoes, but potatoes don't really enhance bread. So I'll take potatoes over bread. I know what you're because trying to say. It's a better, it's a better starting starting point. Well, I just love hash browns. I love take potatoes over bread too, exactly. and I totally think hash it is a Wisconsin bread. thing too. No, dude, that's it's everywhere. like Wisconsin's like we're all Irish and German. It's like there's so many things with potatoes. I I would take potatoes over everything. I know. Oh yeah. I would just, I'd take a fucking hash brown over it. <laughs> you can make oh, motherfucking shit. pancakes out of potatoes. Oh, that yeah, would be great, uh, dude. What's that, what's that dish from, like, Spain that does that? Where it's like, I don't know, it's just like a potato with, like, egg and... It's like a cake almost, but it's fucking I don't know, potato. I, I just think of, like, German food where you put some fucking applesauce on that shit. Oh, potato yeah, latke? Wait, are you talking I'm, about potato? I'm, I'm half, I'm half German, so like potatoes are like the best thing ever. Just heavy food in general. Did I yeah, hear? You know, I'm a, a state over from Idaho. <laughs> Wait, did I hear putting <laughs> applesauce on potatoes? Is, it, is that what I heard? Albina. Huh? What? Were you talking about putting applesauce on potatoes? A potato pancakes. Yeah, isn't that potato? Yeah, isn't that potato latkes? I don't know. I but, have no fucking idea, man. Didn't you say that was German? That's definitely that's, that's 
<laughs> but that's definitely Jewish, bro. Potato Lutkas are 1,000% Jewish. Well, well yeah, it's, it's at German restaurants, so that makes sense. Hmm. And also, syrup, without potatoes... Is, Go ahead. Uh, syrup is to pancakes what applesauce is to potato pancakes. Yep. Yeah. You know, we also use potatoes to make vodka. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, can we get some music going? Please. Music. Uh, uh. Uh, which one do you want? The Blink-182 one? <laughs> uh. Sorry, I was looking for my, uh, my other e-cigarette. I just don't know where I put it. It flew away. Flew away. <laughs> I mean, I'd leave too if you're killing pasta. Black yeah. Stupid. You you knew I had to do it, dude. I'm sorry. You uh. No, you, you didn't. You you, you made didn't. you made a really compelling argument, but I. We're no longer friends. <laughs> Olive juice. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Apollo dies tonight. <laughs> I don't blame him. I really don't. But uh, I regret nothing, and I will die with rice and bread. Yeah, that, that was one of the hardest things I've ever had to decide. Yeah. You're welcome. So I, I thank the podcast that I saw on Instagram that talked about this, and I was like, dude, that's a fucking rough one. I couldn't even answer it in that moment. But I used you guys. Your way of eating the shit out of gluten. Bro. Okay. So, uh, Gabru, mm. how is your plant dish coming? It's coming along okay. Um, I'm trying to get it stringy a little bit, so I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like push it down towards the fire, uh, towards the bottom, and you know try to get, you know, it to burn off some some of its like toxic traits, and then empty out uh, the water, re put in some fresh water, and then that that be out of my I'll be out of uh, water in my water skin. Um, and uh, but it, it it's coming out okay. It's 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 not it's not the best, but it, yeah. And your knowledge of uh cooking, you know, you got to get to boiling to make sure it's not gonna kill anyone with this poison, and you're getting all those traits out of it, getting it really nice and hot. You guys could smell the the plant cooking. Um, you know, it's it smells a little. You know, kind of like a nice smoothie being made. A little almost like a tea. Um, yeah. Um, a Apollo is still asleep, I believe. Um, unless anyone is going to wake him. Oh yeah, we're playing D&D. Upon oh, yeah. <laughs> making this tea, uh, I'm going to go put some in Gary's cup. And uh, I'm going to be like, Gary, try this before we go to sleep. It's a... Uh, a new, it's it's a new recipe. Uh, uh, you'll like it, and and then I'm gonna go stumble over, and uh, I'm gonna drink it, and I'm gonna drink it as well, uh, out of the out of the actual thing. Two members die tonight. Yeah, I'll give you guys a plus one to your guys' next nature check if you remember it. <laughs> For drinking this plant juice. Mm. Oh. We continue to die? Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Good night. <laughs> no, four hours. <laughs> okay, they're going back to bed. Um, my rail, you're double tramping, right? Um, no, I, I didn't use any spells. So I was well, you used cure wounds on them. <clears throat> no, I didn't. I was going to, but I didn't. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, so uh, you're keeping watch. Yeah. I'll so keep you guys watch. are all sleeping again. Okay. Um. Give me a second. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. I know that's where you wrote down our constitution shit. What the fuck's gonna happen, bitch? What the fuck's um, So yeah, another four hours go by. Um, Gary and Gabru are still not improving. 
um, you guys all start to wake up. You could still see the plant hovering, stuck in place, trying to get towards you guys. Um, Lyrael has, you know, at least knows the plant's still there. Probably has opened and closed the door a few times. You know, just keeping watch. Um, yeah, it's been eight hours since you guys have entered this room. You are all fully rested, may restore all your key points, all your health, all your base spell slots. Yeah. Etc. But you guys are not improving. You're in the Thieves' Guild, you have the spice box, you have your belongings. There's still a gas spore. Um, and a couple rooms yet you haven't explored. I guess we can press on, uh, but I'm not feeling the best. So, if I do Maybe. collapse, like Gary, <laughs> um, yeah, pick me up. <laughs> Maybe we should head back so you guys can get better, and we'll try this again. Yeah, let's go find a cleric for you guys. Uh, I hate to be a bother, I'm sorry, but guys, yeah, we'd, we'd rather we'd rather this than have you die later. Yeah, and then um, I'll just follow Lyra's lead and stick to her butt and uh, have my crossbow out. Uh, yeah, and then put my stuff away that was taken out earlier and douse the fire. The fire goes out into a little puff of steam as you pour it on every last coal that was burning. You know, really reminds you of camping when hmm. you're putting out the fire and you're just like got to get all the embers <laughs> that room fills with the steam that's being created I, okay uh, yeah that's it Myril, are you leading the way yeah does it stop really yeah yeah no, it's a short song oh I'll my bad i I just copied and pasted. Larry, so, you're so fast. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, the spore is still tied up in the hallway. It's trying to reach you guys, but it's stuck by the rope. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around the side. Fuck that! Take a shot. Run past. Excuse okay. Me, run past. Uh, make a athletics check, just to make sure you can outrun it before it floats towards you. Ooh, those were some big sneezes. <laughs> Bye, Rail. Um, right when you're about here, the spore actually gets right near the wall and explodes. Oh, oh my God! I, Lyrell, why are you so gassy? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Lyra just covered in shit right now and she's like this motherfucker we're trying to get him out of here and his fucking pet just fucking shit it all over me what the yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be like just fucking just just well, I killed him when I got the chance fuck you <laughs> Lyra will make a con save yeah, con save Cocked as fuck, but okay. Oh no! You're you're okay. What? Oh, cool. um, <laughs> what? <Okay. laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you you are you are okay, but it does spore and gassy is no more. Oh, gassy! Another dead pot on the ground. Oh, do I do a dexterity saving throw? You are out of range. Oh fuck yeah! All right. I, oh my I god. Beat. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh my god, uh, Lyra, oh my god, let me, let me help you, and, uh, I, like, try to, like, get off whatever vegetation's on her. we will also Not take a moment and do that, since it seems like half of our group is idling behind. Apollo, Gary, are you joining the party? Oh, yeah, are you sorry. Just... Oh, like yeah. an extended, long, <laughs> I, like, extra long rest. I the stream, and then I'm like, oh yeah, my guy's not there, and then... 
Um, I'm gonna uh, pick up the lasso <laughs> that I fashioned um, yep. earlier, and I'm gonna keep it in the lasso form because it was such a good knot. It just, or oh, unless it disintegrated, I don't even know. No, your rope's fine. Fuck yeah, dog. It was still like tied around the plant, so you gotta like lift it off, but it's pretty loose as it exploded. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, um, maybe since. Like, so many of them have been dying and stuff, and this one's so fresh. Um, is there anything left, like, like an organ of this thing? It, it was pretty hollow, to your understanding. It was just kind of like these areas that, like, fold, and it, like, kind of just looks like an opened-up uh, plant. <laughs> and it was hollow on the inside. Oh. Just like me, sometimes when I get hungry, I look like this. Mm. Sorry, Gassy. I hope you have a, a wonderful um, reincarnation. I don't know. Bye. And then, yeah, I just uh, follow. Be care of religion check as you say your prayer over this plant. May, may you find Luthic. Say a little prayer for you. Okay. Being green is in this life is is pretty hard. Uh, we fucked up a lot of these guys. Maybe they have family. What do you think, Lara? Yeah. Maybe so, they have family. Maybe they were cousins and like like a big Italian family that loves pasta so much they kill bread for it. You. Yeah. You feel really uh, proud about the words that you said, and although it's a plant and it's dead, you feel like that you did a really good job, and that if there there is a god that accepts plants, you have touched it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a little bit better, but <clears throat> not really. Okay. Sorry. Um, so yeah, you get back to the hallway, there's the way to the north that you guys haven't gone, where you can continue heading to, or towards the sewer level one, and then beyond into the streets of Baldur's Gate. Do you guys yeah, just want to stay up to there a little bit? Yeah, I was going to suggest okay. that. Yeah, so um, you guys walk back through, um, you go through that little armory that you went through, you go through the kitchen, everything shut off, there's the tablecloth where you guys served all the food and cleaned it up. You go back up and you enter the sewers through the secret passageway. Apollo, your shield is unaccessible and it is part of the wall. You cannot recover it. Um, I'm gonna find a way, this is bullshit. There is... The rotting stench of bugbears as you guys get back onto this level of the sewers. No one has come to clean up their bodies. They are just decaying. There are insects eating them. As you guys climb the ladder back into the streets of Baldur's Gate, you can't get out of there fast enough as it reeks of decaying bugbears as it has been, what, two, three weeks since they have been dead. And you guys enter the streets of Baldur's Gate. Um, it's about midday. Um, yeah, you guys made it all the way through the early morning run. The town is lively. Um, everyone gives you a little weird looks as you're walking through. You guys stink a little bit. There's plant stench. You guys were in the sewers once again. Um, I'm going to say another, you know, since you guys woke up this morning, another two hours have passed. Gary, Gabaru, you are not feeling well. You feel your... Gary, you almost feel like you don't even know if you'll make it through this day at this point. You are slowing down. It's more than just alcohol. You feel sluggish. You feel like your insides are rotting. Gabaru, you're a little healthier, but you're still not in good condition. Um, I'm in danger. You should are you guys me. heading towards the elf song? Um, I feel like, I feel like in desperation, I haven't really thought about like Luthic at all, but I remember that when we went to the crypts, I remember, I think it was Fae Ill Matter. Fae Ill? 
fade, yeah. right? Fade of ill matter. Yeah, at, uh, at the shrine of suffering. I feel like right now I'm suffering so much, and I feel like like that's all I can think about. Um, in the sense that I, I feel so bad, so I'm not gonna go to Elf Song Tavern because that's not on my yeah. mind. The Shrine of Suffering is right off the path on your way back, so it's it would just be a short detour. Uh, uh, Gary, you're 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 coming with me, okay? Okay. And then yeah, I'm gonna drag his ass over there. What I see, it's a church. Is it a temple or something? Right? Yeah, you guys have been here before, but now it's it's been under a bit of construction since the zombie attacks on the lower levels. And the upper level was never really that damaged, but you know, it had, was just had a couple cobwebs the last time you were here. As you enter it this time, it seems a little more maintained. It's been cleaned up a bit. The carpets seem to wash, the cobwebs are cleared, the candles are lit. You see uh, a robed figure at the end praying at the altar um, from the robes. They look like it was the same robes that Fayed was wearing when you encountered him, but his back is turned and you can't quite tell if it's him or not. Right. We should get closer to the cemetery. Uh, what? Well, we're going to die. I see in this temple of the cemetery nearby. We're, we're, we're here know. to heal you, Gary. Let's, let's go talk to the priest. Uh, I, I start limping forward with uh, Gary over my shoulder. Um, you get about halfway down the aisle way, um, and then the the figure that's on the floor praying in front of you turns around, and you guys see a familiar face of Fayed stand up quickly, and he's like, "By the gods, you guys look terrible." Uh, yeah, we, uh, me and, uh, Gary are, uh, we're not doing, doing so well. We're, uh, I think we're poisoned, and, uh, I didn't know where else to go other than here. Uh, well, you've, you've come to the, the right place. What has happened to you guys? I'll be right back. Here, come quick. And he starts, like, fumbling around, um, going over to the desk on the side of the room, like, grabbing bottles and... He starts, like, mixing them with some stuff, and... I got the sickness, Doc. I, uh, I punched a plant monster, and it exploded into my mouth. A gas spore, <laughs> or something. A gas spore? But... Those creatures were here in Baldur's Gate? I don't know why. Is it is it a rare rarity? I mean, you know, no one likes the signs of something that's uh, resemblant of a beholder. Those are vile creatures. I thought they were more of just myth, but if they're, well, you know, no one really knows much about gas spores, but some believe they could be spawn of them. So you're saying the guild is run by a beholder. I mean, I don't want to make that sort of accusation. If a boulder, if a beholder's here in Baldur's Gate, surely we are all doomed. Well, what are you making? <laughs> uh, uh, here, here, this, this will... And he, like, starts mixing a potion. He lights a flame, dips the candle, and in it and he mixes it more it's like a very greenish sludgy thick drink it doesn't look very appetizing it has a very pungent smell and he says this will make you feel better and he holds it up to both of your guys' noses Gary it's not the most um it's not the most of a turn off to you as you have been drinking this egg concoction that is very thick as well and it's nothing really out of the ordinary for you but Gaburu, this is a little thick and unfamiliar to you um, but it is from Fayed who you know has healed you guys in the past I Fuck will down. I will chug it down as well because I know he's a, he's a man if he can do it no one can Fayed 
Okay, so you both drink it. Inside check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> he he kind of turns away as he knows that this is a very disgusting drink. But um, you guys get it down. Um, actually, roll roll some con checks. X. Yeah, safes. Safe, safe, safe. All right. right. <laughs> See if I can roll higher than a four. Hey. Yeah, yeah, Gary, you get you get all this drink down. Um, Gabru, you take the first sip and you like you spit. You like you're like, Ugh. <laughs> and then but then he, Faye, it's like, no, no, you might you must drink it all. And he he kind of like then he grabs your throat, oh, your back of your head and like oh. pulls open your mouth and like pours it down. And then he like uh. Kind of like does this to your neck and then pats you on the back until you drink this whole thing. Um, but <laughs> he forces it down, you guys. Um, Lyril, you notice the color on their skin starts to look a little better and they don't look great, but they seem to be improving. <clears throat> um, I will. I don't know. I'm just. Waiting for them to feel better. Wow, I feel so much better. Thanks, Fed. Um, <laughs> and I and I and I start taking out my my coin purse, and um, I say, uh, uh, "Give me, give me your hands," and uh, I'm going to give him three golds worth of gems. Um, he like extends his hands they pour the gems into his hands and then he goes right out to like the first aisle slides over an offering plate and dumps it right in and he says ill matter will thank you <laughs> thank, thank you um, and he's like well I'm I'm very busy I, you guys should start to feel better uh, you should probably let Jarek know about what you saw but I got I got business to attend to. Uh, yeah, no. Uh thank you. Um it um do you think do you think we can have or you can make more of those uh in the time from now and whatever? I, I, we can give you more gold if if you need more materials. Um yeah, if you give me a a day's prep, I can have more prepared. I've run out my supplies. I'd need to do a little supply run, but I'll I'll take the gold and replenish. Uh, yeah. How how much how much gold do you think it would it would take to get at least enough for one of each for each of us? What is oh, it that you need? Gold. The the potion that we just drank. I mean, uh, we don't know if there's more gas spores down there, and what if we? Faye had made them a potion um, that healed their disease, and their Jobber is trying to buy more of the potions. What do you need? Uh, what do you need to make the potions, Faye? Um, well, I mean, it's a long list of ingredients. Um, I don't exactly love to give away my recipes, or <laughs> nobody will be coming to the church. Oh, um, I know what you mean by <laughs> recipe. <laughs> Holding my book. <laughs> and, and anyways, it's only it's only good when mixed with the holy water of ill matter. Um, Convenient sounds like Gatorade. All right, go ahead. <laughs> uh, you know whatever whatever you feel is fair, Gabaru. Um, ill matter thanks you. I take out one of the three uh three sacks, uh like one of the sacks, and I I put fifty gold in there. He just yeah. looks very puzzled, and he starts getting like right to work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, you cured us. I mean, this is the most best thing ever. Now I can eat food and like not worry about the food coming out because I'd feel bad, you know, about it. So, yeah. You have to throw a sack of gold out as well. Hmm. How much? <laughs> I'll do twenty. Such a nice guy. I will. I, I can't thank you, Bagel, enough. You 
you've done so much for me, for the church, for all of Baldur's Gate. The least I can do is make these potions. Well, just, just make it extra and then maybe you can have some fun and do some cooler potions. Maybe some weird potions. Who knows? All types of potions are, are necessary in life. We, you just never know, you know? It's just like spices and stuff. Speaking of spices, we should get back to... What's her face? Yar. <laughs> oh. Is she here? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So, okay. uh, I think Fade and, uh, yeah, I, I walk out and I'm like, wow, this is great. Okay. You guys are back on the streets of Baldur's Gate. Starting to feel better with as every minute passes by. Excellent, excellent. Um, do you want to go see your girlfriend? Apollo? What? Do you want to go see your girlfriend? No, oh, I, I'm just making sure you guys are okay. I was kind of just keeping an eye on you guys, but. Yeah, let's uh let's head back now. Uh, we'll kind of replenish and head back down tomorrow. Yahweh. Yeah. Sounds yeah, mom. like a plan. <laughs> but you know, we just slept, so can't just go back to bed. I mean, we could go back and I still have the element of surprise, still ish. We should Night we dance. probably still head back. Um... Let's make sure it all worked for you guys. That's true. I don't know. I feel better if I get drunk. I'm kind of hungry, too. Yeah, it's about noon. Yeah, I think I want a nice sandwich because I can't live without bread. <laughs> all right, well, all right. I, I definitely have a song for when we get there. Did you add chat G P T? Uh it's not writing it, but it gave me a suggestion of what to parody. I cannot wait. Okay, so you guys are heading back to the Elf Song Tavern. Yep. Okay. So you get into the tavern, it's midday, drinks are flowing, all the Usual people are there, plus a couple extra people from the 12th Snail, whatever it was. <laughs> um, Small Snail Tavern. Yeah, Very Small good. Snail Tavern are starting to migrate here, and Elsung Tavern's been growing in popularity with the likes of Bagel hanging around. Um, so you do see Aleth uh, kind of having a little bit of a heated conversation with Ethan. It's They're kind of arguing about something. Um, Apollo, you have something to say? Uh, I'm it's writing lyrics right now, sorry. I'm practicing lyrics. Okay. <laughs> so you guys go ahead and do your thing. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so. What are you asking, Lyrell? Our, our new friend that we rescued from the uh, place. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you actually do see uh, Anthony um, <laughs> washing, washing some dishes in the back here. Like, and he has an apron on. Um, I, uh, I, I rush over to there, and I say, Anthony! And he's like, Roo Roo! Hey, <laughs> come here, and I do a mwah, mwah, I missed you, brother! <laughs> hey, I'm glad you made it here, uh, uh, uh but it looks like Aleph and Ethan's kind of arguing. Are, are they okay? Yeah, as you get, um, get closer, you do overhear that a bit, and you hear, like, um, he's like, you know, he seems like a nice guy and all, but I don't know. Aren't you just moving things a little fast? And then uh, you like kind of hear that going. And then um, Anthony is like, oh, they've been a little like this since. Uh, I, I mean, Aleth gave me the rundown on what I can do to be helpful around here. And then, I mean, they've been kind of having this discussion all morning. Um, you know, I don't try and get involved. I don't really know them. And I'm, I'm new here. And, uh, you know, I just I just want to make a good impression. But... 
I, I really, I really thank you for the job. You got me out of that great. place, and I'm glad to see you guys here in one piece. You, you, you're doing great. Just keep listening to Alif, and uh, I'll let, I'll help you with a couple recipes. Super simple, easy to make, and well, I, I, I am not allowed to touch the grill for at least two weeks, but. Oh, two weeks? I was going to say a month. But yeah, a I nice. mean, that that was if I was doing really good. That's on my best behavior. But we'll see. I'm optimistic. Like I said, I, I have some cooking experience, so I hope I can get in there. But, uh, you know, maybe maybe I am being too eager. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, no, you, you're fine. Do, do you need anything uh, in particular? Uh, I need to get back to work. That's for sure. I can't look like I'm standing around. I'm sorry. And he gets that, back to like scrubbing. <laughs> that's the spirit, Anthony. Anthony, my brother. Hey, uh, Anthony, if 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 you want, you know, you can have Ruru as your last name. I thought Gaburu was your first name. No, I'm saying, I'm the, well, I'm the second. Anyways. <laughs> You can be Anthony Ruru, and you can be a part of my tribe. Anthony Ruru? I like it. <laughs> um, I'll consider it, but I don't know how that'll sound not being... Yeah. Wow. What's your name? Gabaru Ruru? <laughs> Gary, you bumped your head way too hard. We had to save your ass like 20 times, and you inhaled way too much smoke. Okay? Sometimes you just can't handle it, okay? I need you to tone it down. Yeah. I need you to be focused a little bit. Yeah, I get aggressive in a, in a fight. You know, I'm not used to you know, used to being in a fair fight. <sighs> not poisoned. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, as you guys are having that conversation, Gary, you hear a voice behind you, and it's like, "Hey, friend, you're just the guy I was looking for. I got something special for you." Bartley. And you hear, you hear Bartley. Um, talking right behind your back, Gary. Ooh. Hey, Bartley. You got something special for me? Yeah, I got a nice shipment of some some of these uh, imported, you know, brews, and I, I figured you'd be the guy to help me try them out. Oh, absolutely. Here, pour one in these manga. I'll, I'll buy one. Well, yeah, actually, everyone's starting to send their, their stuff in for the festival that's coming up. Um... So we're getting a lot more flavors and things that I've never got to try around here. And he starts pouring into your cup uh, a nice, hazy-looking brew. All right, well, I'm chugging that on the, on the right immediately. Immediately. Yeah, it, it tastes stronger than a lot of the stuff that you've had. It's, it has some fruit flavors mixed in. It's has a nice contact on your tongue. Um, make a constitution save with disadvantage. I would love to. This is what he lives for. This is what he does. Here's how I start my day, right? It's the, or no, this is... Bad boy, D. Yeah, my first drink of the day. Oh yeah, I'm good. You didn't roll your, oh you did. Oh shit, no I did not. No you didn't, yeah, disadvantage. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah, you're still feeling good, but it's a nice flavor and it's a good drink. And you're like, mm. <laughs> so uh, you start drinking with Bartley a little bit. Um, you guys don't see Nebish here at all, which is a little unusual at this hour. Um, mm. But coming down the stairs, you almost make contact with her. Lyril, as she comes down, you see Kiara, and she startlingly starts to hasten her pace to walk towards you guys as she comes down the stairs. Why, hello! <clears throat> no, I'm just well, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I will kind of almost subconsciously at this point uh, just kind of make sure I'm looking as good as possible as she's kind of coming towards us. Yeah. And she's like, you've returned. Um, I I heard you guys went went and maybe found the entrance to the thieves guild and got in. Uh, we we did, yeah, yeah. Well, 
Uh, and I will take out some spice bags and kind of present it to him. Oh my god. You guys, you found it. Actually, what am I thinking? I, I knew with someone as capable as you that I could count on you guys. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, I'll... I, I guess I'll... She not like reaching out for it. I'm assuming she's. Oh, uh, she, she is. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> so she let her she see. accepts the spice box. She looks kind of in awe, and she looks very thankful. And she's like, you know, I I knew that Bagel was, you know, had a really good leader, and it could get done. Well, I'm, I'm glad they didn't destroy it or do anything to it. I mean, this 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 pays all my bills for like the year. I honestly, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Uh, how, how about a uh, celebratory drink? Well, you did have good taste on that wine that you left <laughs> the other day. I'm, I'm glad you left it. And um, the room is treating you okay? Yeah, but... I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, it was probably a little bit of a mess, but... Uh, it, it was a little bit, and it smelled of that creature a bit, but it, 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 it was fine. Maybe we can get out somewhere quiet. Well, like, no? I mean, we're, I mean, we're going to be turned, turning in for the night. Let's it's, see. Only like, <laughs> only like noon, but well, a, a, a couple of us nearly got killed, so we're just gonna resting. We're, we're gonna go well, back in tomorrow. You wouldn't want to, you know, get out a little bit before night. Yeah, <laughs> just get out of those sure. pants. I'm not doing anything, so. Well, now well you are. I heard that there's a very cool looking fountain in Baldur's Gate and I've always wanted to see it. Alright. Um, I'll, I'll go with you if you'd like. No, let's get to it. Alright, I'll kind of... <laughs> I'll, I'll just look back just to make sure the rest of the group is okay. Yeah, before. you you look over your shoulder, you see Gary drinking with Bartley, you see Gaburu bantering with Tony, you see uh, Apollo prepping a song while eavesdropping on Ethan and Aleth. And yeah, you kind of kind of almost are able to slip out, not even really getting seen too much as everyone's pretty, you know, um, in their own endeavors. Um, I'll actually, before we like actually leave the tavern, I'll kind of stop her and just uh, is it okay if I just clean myself up quick? Oh. Yeah. Lucky I mean... me. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Uh, All right, yeah, then I'll... Room's open. All right, I'll head upstairs and... I'll just, uh, get a drink here, I guess, and she sits down at the bar for a second. Mm. I guess it wouldn't be a shower, but you know what I mean. <laughs> You're gonna go take a whore bath. Um... A uh, uh, key, right? Right? Kiana? Kiana? Kiara? Kiara. Um, uh, do you want anything to eat? Oh, um... Yeah, what's on the menu today? Um, well, and, uh, I, uh, uh you can see that I, I written it in, uh, the chat. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I, I, it's like the first thing that's in this cookbook that I got from the military. And this is an actual recipe. Uh, it's called the Original Salvation Army World War uh, World War One Donuts. Um, so yeah, this is like mm, sweet. I do have a sweet tooth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's, it's yeah. I haven't done it uh, in a while. But I, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'm, I'm a freaking... I'm a chef. And then I go put my uh, chef hat on and my apron and uh, 
Yeah, sweet. And uh, uh, do you want like maybe like a to go thing? It, it looks like you were about to go and get out of here. Yeah, um, maybe I can take a few. Maybe I can have a little picnic on where I'm going. Oh, a picnic! <laughs> Are, you're taking Lyrell there? Nobody kisses and tells Kaburu. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want something sweet, uh, I need I just need some cinnamon. I don't have cinnamon or baking powder. You have that? Spice box? Um, it, she looks like she doesn't really want to give up any spices, but Alice chimes in and she's like, Top shelf. Oh! <laughs> Th- thank you. Uh, and, uh, uh, oh, I'll, and then, I'll... then she she does to catch your attention, and she's like, "Ooh, donuts! Uh, let's make them for everybody. Here, I'll help." And she like starts t- tightening up her apron, and she kind of like shoes Ethan away. <laughs> I... And uh, yeah, I, I said, uh, y- "Yes, ma'am." And uh, I will uh, help her out, and I'll be like, "Anthony, go go take orders from her." Going, and then, uh, that way, me and her have a lot of room and privacy. I want to make an announcement since I was eavesdropping and just say, ladies and gentlemen, there's a treat coming for everyone. It seems like Ruru is cooking up something special. So if you have a sweet tooth, keep your eye out for a nut of some kind. (laughs) (laughs) I get it. I get it. (laughs) Yeah, I get back. One of the guys from like the, the 12 snails, he just gets up and he's like, you hear that, everybody? Donuts on the menu! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> and everyone kind of gives off like a little cheer. <laughs> and then like, they're all like looking at you, Apollo, and like you really got everyone's attention, and they're all like, everyone seems happy and excited, hmm. and they really feel like they picked the right day to be at the Elf Song. You know what time it is, everyone. I want to look around. Is anyone smoking a pipe? Uh, Lordamir is actually up and smoking his pipe. <laughs> Lordamir, I know you and me have not been on best of terms, but sir, I want to sing everyone a song, and you know I have to make a performance. Do you think I could use that pipe as a, as just a tool for it, and I give it right back when I'm done? What do you and think? He's just like, <laughs> and he holds it forward. <laughs> Lordamir, you are a good man, sir, and there's a beer on me coming for you after this song, but I have a song for everyone called Roll With Me. So, uh, Gary, come on up with me, buddy. Uh, I want to bring Gary up, and I want to put the drums down. I want to be like, Gary, this is all I need you to do, okay? Just go. Do it. Do, 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 do. That's it. Can you do that for me, Gary? The drums? Yes, that's it. But I only, I only, I only, I only, I only play the flute. I have a flute, too. I got all my instruments back, so I have a flute and a horn and drums. So, do you want to play the flute, or do you want to play the drums? I want to play the flute. I pull out my flute and hand it to him. I already have a flute. No, I got this one. Bartley's a little drunk at this point. He's like, I'll play the drums. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> now, guys, just beat with me. Dun, 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 dun. And then I'm kind of just relying on them to listen. And I'm just like, look around. like, dun, 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 dun. A sword isn't the best way to kill a monster, but the dice is what I roll. I roll the one, now we're doing some shots, but we drink it fast and here we go. Come on over and write up a character and trust me, you'll give it a chance. Now I'll take your hand, uh, Apollo's on the jukebox, and now you start to dance and I'm singing like, you know I want you to now roll. This roll was handmade for somebody like me. Come on, roll with me. We may be crazy, but drink with me. Now I had this written down, but I done fucked it up so much, you see. But don't talk with me. Don't waste bits unless there's three, because we don't drink on ones or twos. Just we drink on twenties, oh wait, ones, when we roll with them. But not on bits, you so no, I fucked it up. But this is rolling twenty. Fuck, dude, I had it so good. And I fucked it up. Alright, that was that was roll with me, everybody. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> it could have been so Okay, much okay. Better. Roll your performance I'm check. I'm a fighter. Alright. Performance. Performance check. Roll 
let's oh. fucking go! Ah, 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 ah. On once and twenty. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, everyone's getting really into it. They're all Come clapping. Come on, roll with me. And, you know, we might be crazy. Drink gum. Apollo Sheeran fans. And... <laughs> <laughs> Apollo Sheeran fans? Oh my god. Um, and yeah, actually, they start throwing up silver pieces and money at you, and. <laughs> oh. oh, that glitched out? The fuck. And you make 159 gold oh, fuck. off this performance. It was Let's a banger. Go. <laughs> I want to go through. I want to start off by giving um, 30 to Bartley. I want to give 30 to um, Gary for performing with me. That leaves me with okay. 99. Correct? Thank yeah. You. Now what I want to do is I want to look at Aleth and say... Um, Aleth, how much would an order of donuts for everyone on the house be? I mean, you know, um, the cinnamon is worth a pretty penny. Um, 20 gold. Want to give her 40 and say the rest is for the house. But I want to pay for everyone's food as well. And that leaves me with 79. And a round of drinks for everyone. But Woo! the crowd cheers. <laughs> the finest bottle that you have for our friend Lord Amir over here. Uh, I believe that would be Aeolus Best, correct? Uh, I'll take one entire bottle, and I uh, would like to take it myself over to Lord Amir, so if I could please have that now. Um, how much is a round of drinks along with that? Hey, tell you what, would, would another 15 gold cover everything? Sounds like a deal. Okay, so... I mean, that's with my discount. Well, you know, I, I you know I appreciate you. So, I give her 55 gold. That leaves me with 44 left. And I want to walk over with the bottle of Aeolus Best and get it to um, Lord Amir and give him back his pipe and say, You are kind, sir. I apologize for everything that happened before. I know we didn't necessarily meet eye to eye, but I know you're a good man. He just kind of looks at you, takes a big puff, reloads it, and hands it to you. I'll sit and I'll smoke with him. It doesn't really say much, but this is like the most positive interaction that you've had with this guy. And you kind of should just take it at that. Yeah. <laughs> and he takes the bottle, seems pleased, and pours a cup and drinks it and then falls asleep. <laughs> I'll kind of puff on the pipe for a little bit not to let the tobacco go to waste, but then I'll kind of put it down after a minute once I realize he's out. Uh, tobacco? <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know. think it's tobacco? <coughs> I guess he's been falling asleep. Why you think he go to sleep? <laughs> he be sleeping there all the time, bud. Um, well, that's why my that's why I fucked up my performance because I thought it was tobacco. And all of a sudden, I was like, "Oh, fucking, come on, roll away!" Yeah, I mean, the, the crowd loved it. <laughs> we like... are the ones who drink on ones and twenties. I can yeah, fix that. Uh, the whole the whole atmosphere of the tavern is pretty happy. Everyone's having a good time, spending extra on drinks. You can tell that Alice Day is really she's really profiting due to all the extra activity and everyone having a good time. They're drinking more, spending more, and more people are showing up. They from outside that hear all the excitements happening and they get curious and they come in and they sit down tables are all kind of full and it's only like 2 p.m and <laughs> they're starting early it's gonna be a fun night at the elf song um uh, gabru is kind of getting a little bit worried because it's kind of gonna be like a busy day for aleth tony and uh his brother is here too right no you have not saved his brother. Brother is still there. He's still waiting for brother. Um, is is that work here that uh that was uh that owes me fifty gold? Uh, didn't he owe you a pig? Yeah, but yeah, instead, but but he it's like a fifty gold worth of pig or like a pig, just any pig. Yeah, he is not here. <laughs> He's not here. Okay. All right, I'll, I'm just gonna keep an eye out for him because I, I feel like I want to poach him to be like probably like a, like a security guard here. 
now that we're getting a little bit more uh, popular, uh, you know, there might be some bad juju coming from other business coming this way. And I kind of want to up security because Aleth is, you know, Apollo's girl and Apollo is my brother, you know, so yeah. I'm just keeping an eye out like that. Okay, so um, Lyriel, I think it's been some time now since the whole performance happened. Donuts are being made. Um, I think you probably had enough time to get yourself cleaned up. Yep. And I've also changed uh, uh, as I come down the stairs. It'll be probably a new outfit for everyone. It's like the nicest thing I own now that I have all my stuff back. It's a fairly hey, um... formal looking dress. Can you, yeah, just describe it? Uh, yeah, it's like a blue, uh, kind of shoulderless dress. Um, hold on, let me pull up the Ooh, picture. Ooh, my I unarmored defense my other... just went up. Oh, my... <laughs> and <laughs> oh, my other screen, let me pull it up just so I can describe it better. Yeah, it's like a uh, full dress uh, goes all the way to the floor and kind of... I don't know how fashion works, dude. Uh, I don't know what things are called. Here, let's see if I can, um, for the, the party, if I can blow up your character here, and actually, make it really just... big. Here, no, I got it. Oh, yeah, that works too. Okay. Um, Whoa. Whoa. It's a little blurry, but... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Lyril, new and improved, everyone. Um, And everyone that's not Lyril, please make a... Charisma saving throw. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> my god. The heartbreaker. Huh? So yeah, um, none of you guys are like, you know, have to like run up and no flirt with new and improved lie rail here. But it does turn a lot of heads. Um, you're definitely drawing attention that people have seen you as this powerful kind of leader of Bagel, and now you're showing this sign of beauty, and they're, like, seeing you a little differently. Um, Kiara, she keeps her eyes on you, and she's like, she just gives you a nice big smile. <laughs> uh, I will smile back and ask you, are you, are you ready to go? Ready as ever. Uh, Riru, do you have the donuts? Uh, yeah, and and uh, the donuts I made for them were is like more, a little bit more special than um, uh, the round donuts we're kind of been doing. So I, this one I kind of made it into like a churro, more than uh, like uh, than the than the other one. So it's like twisted up together. So it's like together, but it's only one. So it's like one long one, so they can share. I'm sorry, the lady in the trumpet. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, um... Let's have you roll... Performance? What do you think that's fair for how good you cook this thing? Or what do you do survival still? Um... Maybe, like, sleight of hand? Well, I'm attempting to act um, uh, in a maneuvery, tricky way. I don't know. I think uh, it should be a like... wisdom based, just in my opinion. Wisdom? Just because. Yeah, if, let's if do it's survival. Charisma, yeah, I think it's... survival is typically what I use for cooking. Yeah. I just okay. figured because it was fancy, maybe I could do performance. Uh, do I get any pluses or advantages because I have the cookbook? I mean, and, I think that I'll just the, lower. The I'll just lower the role that you okay. need. Okay. Cool. Here we go. On your knowledge. Yeah, yeah. you're. They they turned out great. Cook to perfection. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I've been rolling pretty good today. <laughs> yeah, you, you can smell the cinnamon sugar just coming off these, and it smells great. Kiara smells it, and she's like, "These will do perfect, Gabaru." Yep, and I wrap it in a parchment paper, put it away in like in her baggie, and I said, "Enjoy." <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Kiara scoots her stool in, um, finishes her drink, and starts to head towards the door. Right, I will uh, go in there. Oh, okay, I'll uh, soon... Bye, Lyrell. That's my sister. <laughs> if any of you motherfuckers do anything to her, I'll fuck you up. And I'll, like, mini-rage. 
<laughs> and like, go, yeah, <laughs> and, <laughs> and that's about it. So yeah, the the door shuts behind you, and she kind of like extends her arm like this. <laughs> um, having very little social interactions, I will take a moment before <laughs> kind of getting the hint and the interlocking my arm with hers. Oh. Okay, and um, you guys start to take a stroll. You can have whatever conversations you want. Um, if you're trying to woo her back more, <laughs> I will need a charisma check. Oh boy, I'm you, want woo, you want woo? <laughs> oh. And Rick Flair. Woo! I'm sorry. <laughs> You've been wooed. Oh wait, I, have, I still have inspiration. I'm going to use that on this. Hey. It's probably going to be a really oh, bad God. roll, but here we go. Damn. Oh god, this is not what I meant for this to be used. Uh, D6 on a normal inspiration, right? D8. Oh, D8, okay. D8. I'm yeah, he's level qualified level. bard. Oh, I did Hell, only D6 yeah. last time, but it's okay. It's still a it's 12. Still bad. Hey, 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 12 hey. isn't bad That's for you, that. Great. Um, you know, you're a little awkward, um, like, but it comes off a little cute. That you guys are, yeah, you're on your stroll to the fountain. Um, let's jump back to the tavern. Oh, I have something Apollo. that I forgot to do, and I really need to get this done. Okay, I have one tablecloth of thirteen yards of silk, and <laughs> earlier in the beginning of our adventures, I picked up a quarter pound of silk when we fought some spiders. Now I've been doing some research. Okay. Every ounce of silk is another yard of silk. So that means I have four more yards of silk giving me 17 yards of silk. And I only need at maximum three and a half yards to make a full, basically, robe for everybody. So I need to find someone, because I will have extra, but I want to make every single person in our group, these four, take the purple silk and then whatever they're going to do with the pounds to like maybe put shit together. And I want pants and like purple silk tops, robes for everybody. Like a team outfit of like us just hanging out. And I have enough extra for Gabaru since he's tall. And I will pay. I have 340 gold. I will put a hundred gold on like in like I. This is really important. Like, we gotta look fancy, guys. Even if we don't use this in battle, this is really dumb. <laughs> but it's like also kind of important. <laughs> yeah, we gotta keep up our image. And yeah, uh, yeah. Uh huh. I'm gonna get back to my donuts. Yeah. Uh huh. <clears throat> so while he serves donuts, I want to ask around to find who can take my silk and make us all silk robes. It doesn't have to be today, but that's my goal. We could probably get to it today. Um, um, so yeah, you start asking around and, um, you know, there's a couple people giving you some recommendations. They're like, oh yeah, there's a tailor around the block. And then someone's like, oh, you got to go to the seamstress. Nice old lady. She. She's so good with her hands and her needle, and <laughs> oh. yeah, there's a couple recommendations, and um, you could jot down and compare. Um, some are more, you know, everyday clothes, and some are more elegant. The sounds like the old lady is better with the finer, finer stuff. That's who I wanted to go to. So while everybody finishes in here, as soon as everyone's done in here, and we're done with my rel, I want to go talk to that little old lady and get some measurements done. Okay, um, yeah, you know that she's just a couple blocks away, and I'll come up with a store name okay. <laughs> at I'll, some I'll, point. While they're doing this, I'm going to take a uh, 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 dab. Okay. Um, everyone, Gabaru, seems to be just loving the donuts. Um, they keep getting more orders, and people want to take boxes home to their families, and you're honestly, you're under quite a bit of work right now. Yeah. Um, there's a lot lot for you to be doing. You're kind of stuck in the kitchen. Aleth is helping you out, and she doesn't even seem like to be in the... She seems a little frustrated, to be honest, um, about her conversation with Ethan earlier, and she's working, but, you know, like she'll, like, spill flour and be like, 
and like huff and puff about a lot of things and but she's still helping but uh, Aleth, I, I feel like I feel like you're under a lot of stress. Are you, are you okay? I, I saw you kind of uh, arguing with uh, Ethan. Uh, it's you know, it's it's nothing. Yeah. He, it doesn't seem like nothing. I mean, I am kind of like your older brother. I mean, yeah. But anyways, you can tell me anything if you need to. So like you guys are just working a bit together, and she's like, "Yeah, well, we're, yeah." You know, we're, Ethan so. was kind of like my right hand man around here before you guys kind of came around. But I mean, Ethan's older and has another job, and he can't always be here of assistance. But you know, he was like my longest regular, and I think he's just a little jealous, if anything. I mean, the the way things are going with business and stuff, I mean, maybe we can make a really cool area. Like, um, what does it mean when it's, like, very important people? Like, what what is that uh, word? I mean, well, honestly, he doesn't like all the change around here. He liked the same old people here. But, I mean, business is business. We gotta grow. I mean, he can, he can have his own spot for being, uh, I don't know. Vip, right? Vip, V I, Vip, yeah. <laughs> Are you anyways. proposing like, like a, like uh, a club. maybe like a maybe like a wall or a plaque? Roll it, then, bitch. What do you think about that, Gobber? For the best <laughs> customer ever. <laughs> you want to pull up that photo for? The, everyone else to see. Brandon. You're muted. My bad, I'm sorry, I was coughing. I'll drink for that, but uh, do you want me to share it, or do you want to... Oh, I guess... No, I can't. Yeah, do you, if you want to just save it and share it, but that's kind of the idea that I had. Um... Uh oh. Wait, can I yeah. just put it in chat? Let me well, see. can't you, like, just pull it up on the stream? I think he's in capture application. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. <clears throat> No, because you yeah. can see your uh, mouse. I think you're doing capture window. And that um, is not mine. That is uh, Parzival. Oh. That's Parzival shared screen. Parzival, can you... Uh... Oh, sure, yeah. I can do that. Yeah, can you just Let show me... the thing that I... Uh... Or here, I'll copy and paste Sorry, the pause. photo. Oh, no, you put it in here. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up like the the visual link of it and i'll send it to you here even though it's going to kind of mess up the there you go. for a second oh you got it you are yeah. a good man i'm going to the bathroom no worries <laughs> this <laughs> break was brought to you by white claw citrus <laughs> yuzu smash only five calories and five percent alcohol it's a great tasting beverage <laughs> you died wow don't die. I you was wanna, gonna die. Wanna, you but that's what I want us that? to make. I want to okay. make a really long top robe with a shirt and pants, all to be purple. So if we want to wear the robe, we can wear the robe. If we want to wear the shirt, we can wear the shirt. If we want to wear the pants, we can wear the pants, or we can wear the entire outfit. But what if it, like, what if we, like, get burned by like an explosion of from a gas spore. This is not to wear during battle. Aww. This is to wear here. <laughs> I, I, was made to, I was making the never ending black hole thing. Yeah, you were. <laughs> oh my god, no. But like in my head, this is us. This is for us to wear around town and wear like in, you know, almost how like priests wear their robes, but we're, we're gonna either have our own armor over this. Like I'm not gonna wear this in battle. This is my nice robes. You, you wanna be a, a cult? Don't, don't twist my words. I want us to look nice. I, I didn't twist your words. You, uh, 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 Gabru just sees what he sees. Look, we're Bagel, right? We we help this town, right? We're we're the heroes of this town. We want some respect here, right? We've done a lot for this place. We've made money. We've helped. We've helped the elf song. We've killed monsters. We've done a lot for here, right? Hmm? Don't we, to a certain point, deserve to feel like some tall 
smart, handsome, or beautiful motherfuckers like we are? <sighs> and you see, like, Gabru smile and his, like, overbite comes, like, like front. Look at you, Gabru. You're back here creating new dishes. You don't think that you deserve a little lavishness on your skin? Uh, I, I just like eating good food. Uh, I don't really care what anyone else thinks. And look at Lyrell. Lyrell came out here looking like a beauty queen. You don't think from time to time she wants to sleep in some beautiful silk? And then there's Gary. I just kind of look over at Gary. What, what are you doing right now? What? Like, like, I, like, I, we're kind of like looking at you in conversation. What, what are you doing? What do we see? I already, well, I'm getting drunk with Barkley. Well, oh, there's Gary. I mean, Barkley. Yeah, Barkley. Oh, also, since we have a moment of time, let me, let me do this, just so you all can see it since I'm sharing the screen to all of you. What you doing? What you showing? I'll be honest. Uh, I I don't know if I would have been interested in the other Lyra. But if it doesn't other work Lyra. out with Aelith. Blue dress Lyra. Oh, oh I see. Blue dress Lyra. You can get it. I don't even remember what the other Lyra looks like. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I, I really don't like, care. Aren't you like 200 years old? I uh, am. And... Give you an actual, I can give you an actual tip. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be real. Like, that Lyrell's cool, but, like, blue dress Lyrell? Like, I'll make half elves. I am 95. <laughs> oh, we'll make, we'll make half elves in this campaign, but now Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, Hey, man, I've been trying. <laughs> Kirk, Kirk, you know, he's not, he's not a whore. <laughs> but, yeah. I want us all to live in lavishness. You don't think Gary deserves a silk robe, even though he's Gary? Uh, maybe you can make a hat for him to cover his bump. Maybe. But here's what I'm thinking. Here's the most important part, okay? I want her to put the word bagel on the back, and I want her names to be on there. Well, are we, is this a bowling, bowling team thing? We, I want us to be famous. Our names should be known everywhere, you guys. We help people. We're heroes. I I just make donuts. Uh, I don't know. Gabaru, uh, you don't just make donuts. You're a master in the kitchen, but you're also a master with your weapons. <laughs> and Sorry, master. I've never seen anyone be able to take down as much alcohol as Gary. You don't think that's a skill? That man has a stronger liver than anybody, and he can hit 17 times in a round. We're heroes. Yeah, I've survived like the most, uh, the the most blows to the head. You know, True. I go down, but you guys bring me up, and I'm, I'm all here. We're unkillable. We're heroes. You may be a brilliant chef and an artist. He may be an alcoholic. I may be an amazing singer, and Lyrell's a sneaky hottie underneath that exterior. Uh huh. But, Excuse me, an alcoholic? Is that some sort of uh, beer magician? Yes. Underneath all of those skills, we're also heroes. And the name Bagel needs to be known everywhere. And I want to look at everybody. Don't you guys all think so? Yeah! <laughs> some random guy in the crowd, like, just thinking part of it. No, I said, don't you guys all think so? I'm like looking for more no. people to respond. <laughs> no one responds. I'm like, this is exactly why we need this. Right now, no one knows we're serious. The robes mm. are not just for us to look fancy, Gabru. Mm. The robes are our future. Not just a life of lavishness, but a life being known for what we do. The best of what we do. Protecting this planet. Don't worry, Gabriel. Once you have these, you're gonna understand. Okay. But if I get food stains on it, don't get mad at me. Hey man, I was trying to get like a whole speech going on. Fuck y'all. <laughs> got booze in the crowd and shit. This is bullshit. I wanna sit back down dejected. <laughs> Are you gonna still go look for the seamstress? Oh, fuck yeah. I'm still going to the seamstress, but like... 
Okay, we could uh, play that out. We'll just say you arrive there. Let's call it. Uh... Whoa, there's so many dark alliances. Um. Uh, parcel. It says call it a uh, stitch and save. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> On on the nice on a stream. Um, so you have the window. There you go. Both oh no, I, I know. I, I was, he did not. Okay. I was Is the door open? Oh, I was amazed yeah, so by the black hole. You get in and you see like lots of threads and fabrics along the walls. You see a counter with kind of no one at it, and it's a completely empty store. There's no like customers, and you're in there, and the, you know there's like a little needle and thread on the sign outside. And you open the door, there's a little bell, it goes like, bling, bling, when you, uh, walk in. And, <laughs> and like, kind of, you hear, like, kind of like a little bit of a cane walking, um, coming from the back. And she's, and then you hear a voice say, kind of, very old and grindly, it's like, hello? Hello, I was told that the best seamstress in all of the Sword Coast is here. Is that what they call me? Well, uh, amongst other things, the 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 queen of fabrics, the the baroness of yeah, um, yeah. What what's what do you want? Well, I I have always lived a life of less, and now that I can afford more, I want to live with more. And I would like a fully custom. A uh, silk robe set with a, a small cover. I want a shirt, pants, and I want a cover. And then I would like three more, one for each of my friends, all all shaped for us. And I'm I'm willing to pay whatever it takes. Give me give me the fabric. And so I, I pull out the <clears throat> thirteen yards of the purple one, and then I pull out the quarter pound of the other uh twine and i'm like here she like, starts to like hold it up into the light and she's like starts feeling it and she like starts like going like grabbing threads and like color matching and then she's just like okay and you want you want robes bagel is it you, you know our name hmm you yes you 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 know bagel Oh, everyone knows Bagel now. You guys did the, the zombie thing and whatnot. Anyways, uh, it's my pleasure to make rows for Bagel here. And then she like grabs a piece of paper and she does like super quick sketch and she draws up a robe. And it, it's like, you know, it's like a fancy, you know, has like a nice silkier, shinier trim to it. And it's the color. And she's like, is this what you want? And she holds up a photo. It looked pretty good. Ma'am, that's. That's perfect. I, I need one for myself. One for my friend Lyrell. She is uh, um she's an elf. Uh, one for my friend Gary. He is um he's a human about my size and another one for a fellow a little bit bigger. He's a half orc named Gabaru. I'm, I'm sure if you know of us you know who I'm talking about. Um <clears throat> and if you could at, at least put the word bagel on the back. It maybe not large, maybe not super vibrant, but I want people to know our name. Well, if I if I know their heights, it's fine. I don't really need their dimensions. They're loose fitting, anyways. Um, uh, all of this, mm, uh, hundred gold for you. Here's a hundred and thirty. When can I expect it to be done? Uh, give me like twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. <laughs> well, okay. Um, she and... like picks up one of the gold pieces, bites it. And then she casts Mage Hand, and she starts sewing a whole one with a Mage Hand while sewing another one at the same time. <laughs> Just starts, or it's double, two at a time. What is this, Murdy or Myrtle Mandolin or something? <laughs> yeah, so hey! I have cool, uh, advantage with uh, stealth. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> um, so are you just going to wait? Yeah, she's going to be done in 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna it's it's rather and... impressive. Um. Roll a charisma saving throw. <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's amazing, but you know, it's like you're not gonna fall in love with her. Amazing. Well, what's her name? 
Um, she didn't even say. I want to ask her, what, uh, um, magical one, what's your name? My, my name? Uh, normally people just want my work. Now you want my name. Well, you're the best in the land. If Bagel's the best here, I need to tell people who made our clothing. Plus, how am I going to sing a song about you? I've already started it. There once was a place called Stitch and Save, where I went, and oh, hooray, I was... <coughs> um, okay, chat. Everyone in the chat, what should this girl to be named? I'm, I'm pulling a blank here. She's a seamstress, old lady. Works at Stitch and Save. Can use Mage Hand. Um, <laughs> we'll see if they come up with anything. But if not, I'll just pick one. Yeah, if not, I'll ask Chad GBT. It's Laura. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Laura. That was Woo Man, but we'll go with it. It works. <laughs> Laura, I adore Sorry, her. I asked, and I, 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 was, I was ahead. I should have waited. Yeah, it's I, fine. I cheated. It's okay. Streams, we're running out of time here anyways. I, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, she gets it all done. Um, It looks great. You, She, like, has you try one on. You do a little twirl. It fits you perfectly. It's silky. It's smooth. How much is left? Oh, I ask her. Of the silk? Yes. Uh, yeah, about about a yard. Do you have anything else similar that you can make me one more? One more? Um. I'll give you another 20. Yeah, I can make two. All right. I, I need one. Free of charge. Oh, well, it's very nice of you. I, I need it for a list. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't show up with that one for her, dude. So, like, I'll just wait for that. We can, we can uh, skip she, through the time. Do you want to say Pagella on the back or <laughs> what? <laughs> or Holy Bagel. No, actually, on, on this one specifically, just put Elf Song Tattle. A uh, little, uh, you know, ESF or, or EST? Um, I think it would be proper for it all to be there, but if EST is, is easier, put EST. I mean, you get like a five gold discount if it's just EST. Here's 20 gold. Elf Song Tavern. <laughs> Bites another coin. Okay. Right, <laughs> she just so... does this one purely with the mage hand. Just doesn't even want to waste her time on it, but it comes out great. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out 150 gold. That puts me at 195. Okay. Yeah, okay. I want to take the rose back, give them to everybody, and I'll let them do what they want to do, so I don't take any more time. Okay. Um, Lyril, you arrive at the fountain with Kiara. She pulls out the donut and it's like your friend, your friend Gabri made these. They smell delicious, very sweet. That's, and smell very good. She takes a bite and she's like, you know, a little, you know, taking her time with it. Uh, well, I noticed that there's only one, and I don't want to. No, there's a uh, a whole dozen. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I will also take one. Yeah, Gabru, like, like uh, cooks for, like, a whole village every <laughs> time he cooks. It's not like... Yeah, and no, I, like... I thought you had mentioned that there was one, like, no, it's together a, or something. It's a whole whole little picnic. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. Um. So, it's not often you run into someone that's so capable. Uh I I spent a lot of my life uh, alone, so I kind of had to learn how to <coughs> do it on my, do it for myself, you know. Yeah. So uh, she turns and she looks at the fountain. It's like spraying water, and every once in a while, like the jets on the side just kind of make it go and fly up. You don't quite know how the whole thing works, or how this whole fountain is working, but it's there. Um, there's some birds on the, along the rim fluttering um can you make a perception check sure give me one second perception okay 
Okay, this is going to be for the chat. Um, Lyril doesn't see it. But standing on the other side of the tavern, or on the other side of the fountain, kind of like peering through, is Nebish. And <laughs> he, is, he sees Lyril with Kiara, and he actually has Bucky with him. Um, Aww, Bucky, Bucky. Was, he was locked in the room on the previous adventure and Aleth had asked Nebish to take him out as he thought Lyril and Nebish, you know, they kind of had a little connection going and he had, uh, had bought B Bucky the collar and Bucky seems to respond to Nebish and he took Bucky out on a walk to get him some air and he's there and he sees Lyril with Kiara and he is going to just get away without being seen teary eyed and head back towards the Elf Song Tavern. He actually has gotten Bucky groomed and a little haircut in this time and like pamper <laughs> no! him. Um, uh, at least Buck, Bucky will go out with him. <laughs> yeah, so uh coming into the Elf Song Tavern at this point now is Nebish with Bucky. Bucky looks very stylish, um honestly. Uh I believe it's just Gary and Gabaru in the Elf Song right now. Um mm -hmm. If you guys can roll charisma savings throws from Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> charisma saving throw. Because <laughs> the Buck Maester is still so good. Yeah. Yeah, um, Gary or Gabaru, you cannot resist your to go pet his freshly groomed fur. Um, you. You kind of have to. <laughs> I, I come out running and I take out my last rat and I give it to Bucky and I'm just like, oh, this is for you. I've been saving it. Oh. Yeah, I he thought there was it. about to be a villain arc. For <laughs> <Nebish>. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you, you see it and you also notice that Nevish is rather teary-eyed and uh, very upset. Uh, hey, Nevish, are, are you okay? Uh, You've been cutting some onions? Uh, uh, yeah, onions wrong little nebby nubs um yeah he's gonna roll a deception check against you <laughs> against both of us because i'm coming over sure yeah oh. yeah so it was onions and he's very convincing wow. we take like on 20. 20s. <laughs> right. uh, we do, what do we do perception or insight 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 he'd roll a 20 bro Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, well, you know, the, the, the trick is to breathe through your, your mouth and out of your nose. Is that the trick? I know some people just say, you know, if you don't cut the roots off at the end first, then, you know, they can do that. But I wasn't, I didn't know that till after. Wait, uh, is, is that really what it is? Uh, I don't know. You're the chef, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the chef. And then, like, Gabaru kind of takes a mental note. Cut the roots. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, he quickly changes the conversation. He's like, well, yeah, I took uh, Bucky was getting a little mangy, and I figured I'd treat him, and he was all cooped up in the room as he wasn't feeling good for the night of drinking from before, and he needed to get out. Um, I took care of that. Oh, okay. Um. Little well, there, there's donuts being given out. Uh, Anthony, he's taken over the 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 kitchen and stuff, so things have kind of slowed down. So you can go ask for a donut, and it's free. Uh, enjoy. Uh, uh, thanks, Riru. You're the, you're you're a real pal, man. Yeah. Hey, okay. just kind of slaps you on the back and goes uh, to the goes uh, to the front counter and, and gets uh, a donut. I I take out my my how to be a, a better friend book. <laughs> and I said, I was like, I don't need to read you. Uh, and I put it back in my bag. <laughs> I don't even read it, bro. I just have a book, bro. And I don't, I don't, I haven't even read the, honestly, I have the chef's book. I like literally open it and like that's whatever the first thing is, I try. I mean, can you even read Orc? Orc? Yeah, I can read Orc. Would not say that. I, I can read Common too, but like barely. It takes me like a, like three days at least to read one word. Okay. Um, Apollo, the A-list robe's all done. Okay. So 
at this point, yeah, I want to head back and I want to give everyone their robes who's there. I mean, obviously, Lyrell's getting her uh, groove on, but uh, I want to go. I want to start with Aloy. Before you get in, when you're outside the Elslong Tavern, can you make a dexterity save? Oh, man. All right. Oh, oh that was almost a nat 20. That was okay. almost so, a nat 20. Yeah, you're, you're carrying all these robes, and actually, there's a guy with a big pig in his hands that's about to, like, bump into you. And, like, actually... <laughs> <laughs> but you managed Bro. to pull the robes away <laughs> in time. <laughs> oh, Oh. And yeah, you recognize it was the orc, and he has a pig, and <laughs> he's like, "Whoa, Apollo, we're gonna have a nice roast tonight, right?" Oh, we are, but first I gotta go get dressed. Um, you, you. Ayla said I could light a, a spit out back. Let's do it. I'll help you light the fire. Just, just give me a little bit, okay? Okay. <laughs> and, yeah, inside. you slip into the tavern. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, yeah, the first person I want to go up to is Aelith. I want to be like, um, I got you something. You're finally coming up to chat. Well, I wanted to surprise you with something. And I want to show her the robes. She gives a nice feel. It's so soft. And I want to show her the back. She just blushes. <laughs> So, I, I wanted to make sure that you had something special, and I wanted to give you your gift first. I um, had an idea for the team, you know, to have something made for everyone, but, I mean, you're just so important to me. I, I had to get something made for you. And at that point... You could, you could see Ethan, like, uh, sitting on a stool, kind of in the back. He looks a little... He's just eyeing this conversation, and he's like... I don't give a fuck. Has a, a look on his face. He's not a hero. <laughs> and then just for a second, I want to show her mine and show her how similar they are. Just mine, it says Bagel. Hers says Elf Song Tavern. Oh, they look so good. And the material, it's great. Um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll take a look at them later together. I can't wait to try it on. Um, I think you'd look good in yours, too. And we will do that, but I got to go give everybody their gifts. Okay, and I want to kiss her on the cheek and walk away. And I want to make sure that motherfucker Ethan sees that shit. <laughs> and then the next person I want to walk up to is Gary. All right. Hey, uh, Gary. Yeah. Hey, I had something made for you, buddy. And I want to just whip it out. It's for you. That's Bagel. Um, I need you to do me a big favor, though, Gary. Yeah. I need you to. If you're going to drink in this, only drink the finest liquids and do your best to please don't spill it. If you get a little bit, it's okay. If yours has stains, that's fine. But I, I want this to be a representation of us. So here's your I mean, answer. I drink, but I try not to be wasteful. You're not. And spill. But this is like your ceremonial robe. And I want to hand them the bag of robes. Wait, we need ceremony music, dude. We're hey, gonna... I'm going to put it on. I'm going to immediately start just, like, pulling at it and get it in the way I want it. I'm going to maybe pin some things back so I get some leg room. I'm like... Let me see if I can add this in. Now, is Ruru within uh, within sight? Yeah. Okay. I was saving Ruru specifically. Oh. Fuck that, take a shot. I want to go up to Ruru. Say, Ruru. I had this specially made for you, sir. You are different dimensions than everybody else, so I had to let her know to use as much fabric as possible. And I want yours to show Bagel as large as possible. And I want to, like, stand on top of the table and whip his out. And just go, whoo! So it just, like, just touches the floor. And say, Ruru, I heard you call me your brother earlier. We've been through so much. It would be an honor if, from time to time, we can wear this together and represent that family, bro. Dobby has never received a, a sock before. Master Dobby, gave Dobby clothes! <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, um, 
Gavru is just taking it all in and he's just in shock. And like, um, he's kind of like just taking it in and he's going to like take the robe up into the room and like he's going to secretly try it on. Wait, I'm going to go change into mine. And I'm gonna, I am gonna. want to leave Aleph's on top of the bed. Or, actually, I'll take it into my room so that way I can give it to her. I want it to be to the moment of the ceremony when she comes back to me. Um, do you, do you, are you wearing, you're wearing yours tonight? Oh, yeah. Okay, then, uh, uh, Gary, are you gonna wear, you're gonna wear yours right now? Yeah. Aleph hey, hey. makes a comment, and she's like, yeah, these would look, uh, very cool at the, at the party tonight. The festival's tonight? Well, the kickoff, um, I told your friend he could cook the pig out back. Oh, great. Uh, he's got it. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go change then. Um, and, uh, uh, Gabriel's gonna try to, to uh, freshen up uh, as best as he can. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna just try to look spiffy tonight. I'll go do the okay. same, but I'll take above a four bath. I'm not just gonna wipe, I'm gonna get into the front. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are all getting changed and getting ready. Lyril, um, it's starting to dim, get darker. You've been having wine and donuts and strolling around. Um, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, I'll try to kind of gauge her mood. So she seems pretty into you, honestly. Um, she's made a comment like... You know, maybe you could stay in your own room tonight. Uh, I'll kind of joke. I know you don't. I know you don't sleep much, but the bed's still comfy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Oh, okay. What's that? Uh, otherwise, we'd just be, you know, in the bar. So that would be ideal. Yeah, I have a question about the lore of this uh, world. Has the <laughs> sisters been invented? I need to know what appropriate jokes to make. Wait, has oh, you mean like nuns? No, scissors. Like, you guys are going to scissor each other later. Oh, I thought you said sisters. <laughs> I thought you said sisters, too. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to um, be honest. I think that's just like a natural thing they figured out, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I Oh, no, no. I mean, the position probably existed before, you know, the actual scissors. That's what I want to know. Like, would my character know? About shears. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Enough to make a shear to shear. Yeah, joke. I'm sure there are shear jokes. <laughs> so yeah, um, you know it is getting dark, and you know that there's a party going back on. Um, so you can head back, and she has left it fully on the table. Uh, yeah, I, I will head back with her to the party and unless we start next week with the party I'm just gonna yeah out we'll, there that... we'll start with the party right. next week but we'll have you re-enter the elf song and then we'll wrap it up all right yeah so we'll link arms again and head back in okay as you enter the elf song make one more perception check Um, yeah, you do see Nebish, but his back's turned at the bar, and you can go up the stairs. You do see Bucky. Um, Bucky actually runs over to you, and he looks like his hair has been done, he's been washed, his nails are clipped, and, um... <laughs> I mean, Obviously, I don't know the hell I'll do, but I'll, I'm still just gonna be like, Bucky, if you <laughs> look great. <laughs> And he kind of like goes and like leans in, rubs against your leg, like he wants a little scratch. You know, I'll kind of scratch him, and I'll, I'll, I'll look back at uh, Kiara, right, Kiara? I'm not losing my mind, right? Yeah, he looks great. Okay, okay yeah, I'm, I'll I'll look back at her and just be like, oh, this this is Bucky. I don't know if you've met him yet. Huh? Uh, he's been around. Uh, I saw Nevish took him out earlier. He was making a bit of a ruckus. He did? Oh. Okay. Um... Yeah, a Aleph actually asked him to. Oh. Alright. 
Yo. Are you making Bucky the security guard? <laughs> nice. Um, and we'll we'll wrap it up there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's Bucky the bouncer. <laughs> okay, shut up. Don't give a fuck. My name is Book, and I like okay. to party. And we only got to thirteen when we had eight at the beginning. I don't know. What were we rolling tonight? Um, <laughs> it's because I made clothing. <laughs> um, ooh, these people look interesting. I found someone I think we might want to raid. D twenty death. Oh, she is one of the people I actually used to like on the Captain Robert. Oh, oh. interesting. The caustic, uh, caustic phoenix. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Cool. Send off the raid. Um, yeah, let's, uh... And yeah, tune in tomorrow for Dragons of Storm Kyle. Oh, yeah. We should get this episode on YouTube this weekend, hopefully. Thanks everyone for coming out. We appreciate you all. Everyone that's stuck in this long, you're crazy. <laughs> oh, also, we are streaming tomorrow, yes, but... There may be a surprise Thursday stream. Um, someone who played a couple times may want to DM something. So, there may be some uh, players from here. I think Parzival might play. I might play if anyone else is down on Thursday. And I think we have one or two more who might be open to it. So, uh, this is also going to be a community campaign. So, if you guys want to see the first episode, see if you guys like how he DMs. Maybe you guys can actually play in this in the, in the Discord. That won't be streamed. This is just the first episode. He wants to try it out. So... Um, it's homebrew, Ooh. so check that out. Um, if we do it Thursday, then uh, there might be some new content for you guys. Um, but yeah, it's in the raid off. Love you guys. Cool. Bye.